Welcome to the base. As things are right now, we have some new things, we have some old things, we have some crafted things, we have some not crafted things. Over here, first things first, is a vehicle, which is only a chem stand. All it has on it is an onboard chemistry lab and a frame, which enables me to make drugs like heroin, if I so chose. I won't be doing that, but I could. The more important thing that I can do now with the drug lab is that I can make uh, fungal, antifungal drugs. And I can make an absurd amount of those because I was lucky enough to find a bunch of fungus already. So I, I'm never going to be infected with fungus in this game. Probably. Ever. And if I am, then they're never getting any purchase on my supple body. Uh, there will be no... They'll never gain any ground on my body because I have so much fucking antifungal drug now. Which is awesome. You want to have that. Now, you might be noticing a couple changes with me physically. Uh, specifically the, like, the rat thing. Hang on, I'm going to recenter this. It's been off-center for years. The rat thing happening right now. Uh, more, I got a snout now? Like a rat snout. Um. Oh, it's, oh, good. Oh, good, Stream Deck. Yes. Cue the fucking swaps. Here we go, chat. Any second now, Stream Deck is going to flash. There we go. All right, take a look at this. I went back to the rat guy. I had him do a little, I had him do another lap. Specifically because I really wanted full night vision, which I got. Unfortunately, I paid a price by becoming badly deformed. I may have become a disgusting animal uh, in the process of doing this. Um, I only went down one more time. And I just said to myself, I'm going to take whatever comes out of this. Even if it's albino, I, I just want to see if I get anything decent. Well, I'm not going to, like, fucking pick and shoot. So I went down there, and I became badly deformed. You're hideously deformed. Some people have a strong negative reaction to your appearance. Basically a meaningless perk, because, uh, 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 negotiating in this game and speaking to people is a fucking comedic act that really has no impact on, uh, your character's survival at all. Uh, you bully and kill those people. You don't, that sort of stuff doesn't really matter. Uh, we also have full night vision now. We have full, we have a tier above high night vision. We are almost able to see, I would say, yeah, this whole, this whole screen is going to be fully visible at night for me, pretty much. At night, I'll be able to see like fucking 16 to 20 blocks away from me, which is, which is ridiculous. So that's what I wanted because that basically means that I can walk through town now. And sort of do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah. Uh, we also got ourselves growling voice. You have a growling rough voice. Persuading NPCs will be more difficult, but threatening them will be easier. All right. Now we didn't. We did walk away with one new negative. Well, one or two more negative things. We got rat-like muzzle uh, from this, which. Your face and jaw have extended, giving you an alert and attentive appearance. That wouldn't be a problem if it didn't actually prevent me from wearing masks. I cannot wear a gas mask anymore. I can't put one on. Uh, they won't fit on my face because I have a rat face now. So, um, I can't wear gas masks. I can't wear power armor helmets. There's a lot of helmets I can't wear anymore because I have this snout. But that's okay. Because in exchange, we got ourselves retractable claws, baby. And we also got ourselves quick. You're just generally quick. You get 10% bonus to action points, which is very good. We also, uh, and this is, the, this is the main negative that we got uh, while I was off stream, is uh, sleepy. You need to sleep more often, but we'll still spend most of your time awake. I consider that a fair trade-off, considering, um, considering all the good stuff I got. So I'm sleepy now. I'll, I'll, have to, I'll, I'll usually be tired rather than awake now which is like a little bit of a stat debuff sometimes. It's not that bad. It's honestly one of the less impactful things. And I don't think I had this last time. I don't think I had wiry whiskers, which you have a set of prominent rodent-like whiskers around your mouth. These will make you more aware of vibrations in the air, proving your ability to dodge slightly. It's pretty much nothing. It's pretty much a nothing thing. It's not that big of a deal. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the base right now. It hasn't changed much visually, but Gets the job done. We're gonna need to we're gonna need to do a bunch of upgrades for it soon. Alright, because we need to make a crucible and we need to make an anvil. 
and to make a crucible, if we want to make much more like wacky like items, we need to make a crucible, which is a clay thing. We just need to go get some clay from uh, from like a swamp area, which would be over here probably. We'll get some clay. It's either at a river or a swamp area. Uh, unfortunately, the nearest river is a little ways away, but we'll be able to get some. Or a clay golem. I don't remember where I killed my last clay golem because I think I skipped killing them. I've made a weapon. I've made a new weapon. I don't want to use the gun anymore for a bit because uh, we're actually running pretty low on ammo. So I made a composite crossbow with my incredible fabrication and mechanic skills. Which has a pretty good aim and range. I usually make a repeating crossbow, but uh, that only has a range of eight. The composite has a range of 16. So I've currently got a crossbow with 100 bolts in my inventory. Well, 98 bolts now. Uh, that I wear on a sling instead of my instead of my gun. Because I wanted to, I wanted to ditch the gun. Did they remove the iron crucible? I usually make the clay one anyways. But I don't think they removed it. I may not know how to make it. They might have removed it. If there ever was one at all. I always make the clay one. Because the clay one's so easy to craft. Well, there's not really much reason to not make a clay one. Is the town still on fire? Uh... Let's talk about other things before we talk about the town. How about how about we do that? How about we do that? So here's my here's my wacky vehicle. We have two. I got this one. This is my electric bike. I got it in case I wanted to rip out some of the bike stuff um, and make my wacky vehicle an electric bike for like faster travel. But I opted against it because this thing's made for night raiding and I want it to be quiet as fuck. But uh, I got this uh, electric bicycle from um, actually the town. The electric bicycle was in a shed here. I had to get a mining pick and actually dig it out right next to the raging inferno that was the school. Now, by the time I got it out, the house I was also mining out of was on fire a little bit. So that was sort of close. I did that all off stream, so I was a little bit worried, but it was okay. I wasn't going to die. I was pretty safe. I wanted to get that out, and I couldn't get it out of the shed otherwise. So I had to dig it out. And then I made this bad boy, which is just a mountain bike with some barely functional wheels. That's also why I grabbed that electric bike. We may have to replace the wheels soon. Uh, and I attached trunks to it. And those trunks can hold 162 liters each, which means they're good for carrying things. And in them right now, I have two mangled rotten corpses. Or I guess one mangled rotten human corpse. Let's actually bring this inside. Remember, I can eat rotten meat, chat. So seeing a rotten human corpse is like a win. For me, that's a win on my characters. In my characters, I like books. All right, I can I can butcher this right away. Consume the blood. Pour it. Pour some of it on the ground. Mop it up with a mop. Mop up that blood, and then like, fucking cook some sick, rotten human meat. And it's all gonna be fine. It's so easy for me. But we're not gonna be using that for a while because I've already made food for a while. Take a look. Made 60 dehydrated meat. I made some jerky. Lots of jerky. Uh, we got we got a fucking billion cracklins. We got everything we could want for a while. And those cracklins, even when they go bad, I still get to eat them because I'm a fucking I'm a I'm a monster, and I eat rotten meat for food and sustenance. So like I don't care if it goes bad because my morale so far hasn't really paid the price that much for that, even though it should. Are you a cannibal if you're not a human anymore? Well, now I get a fucking rush from eating rats. And from eating humans. That's how it works now. Now, I'm into both. Dude, I could eat a rat and be like, Oh yeah, the morality of it. It's pretty good. But yeah, right now, chat, here's the game plan. Okay. This right here is the first thing I want to go to. Why, you might be wondering. Well, it's because of this. I have a full roadmap of this whole area, and this is a perfectly cubed forest right here. And on top of it, this has rural roads, not trails, like roads. And it's all cubed, like almost like this is a preset map layout, like cell here. I want to investigate what's in there. Because all of this seems to be something, including that lab now, maybe. So I'm gonna swing in here, because I want to see what this is, because it's also got like, Fa like different style forests in it. So today I want to go to this weird block of property that definitely doesn't seem normal. 
town gone. We can swing by the town and take a look. We've had zombies wandering near the house the last couple days. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure why. We've had a couple... We've had a couple swarmers walking by. But good news is now we have a bike that works. And on top of that, we are capable of archery on a bike. So we can actually shoot guys with our crossbow on a bike. I've been using it to kill moose for food. You just sort of like bike at four, five, like four or eight miles per hour and just shoot behind you, and you usually don't lose much, like much, like actual accuracy from it. It's pretty good. Getting a bike is a good start to any any stream, and I mean, like, that's all I pretty much have to say about it. Getting a bike is a good fucking thing to get. I gotta clear these two guys out, which is what I want, which is what I'm doing right now. This guy and this guy have been hanging out on my lawn for now, like days. I don't know why they're here, but we have a unifier zombie. A severely mutated, rugged corpse managed to multiply its filthy blood into a thick substance, visually seen on its bloated, dark veins and amalgus, fleshy material beats from both hands. He worries me, because he can spawn more zombies. Still a little bit out of range. I'd like to kill him. So we're going to go. We're going to drive by very quickly. Because, yeah, he can spawn. He can spawn those things if we don't do it quick enough. A blood vessel. An animate substance completely made out of blood. Too viscous to move in limited speed. Yeah, they're not that scary. But they're still annoying. And it's good to get rid of these unifiers before they make like a bunch of those and become like a problem. So we're gonna start- We're gonna get rid of these guys. What should we hit for 45 damage a hit with the crossbow, which is enough to basically two-shot these guys. So we just basically hit them once while driving by and then reload. And then we spin back around and we hit them again. And there's not really much they can do. Looks like he is healing slightly. Is he healing? He might be healing. Good news is he can't keep up with me. That's my- that's a like. <laughs> Game crash. <laughs> I haven't had that happen in fucking like eight months of gaming. In this fucking game. <laughs> Why'd the game crash? Ah, oh, because anything that sinks in the water crashes the game. That's the first time I've had an I've had a vehicle sink in so fucking long. You cheated on stream. Chat. I'd rather die than lose this vehicle. I'd have to walk back and get the other one. You know how inconvenient that would be? I'd have to literally walk back and get the other vehicle. And the game crashed, so that's not really my problem. I'd have to walk back, get the other one, and then simultaneously reinstall trunks. Now, how much time that takes? About two minutes of gameplay. So really, you should be more comforted in the fact that I really would have lost nothing, but simultaneously merely save scummed out of, like, slight inconvenience on stream. Think about it like that. Does that make it feel better or worse for you? That the only reason I truly saved scum there was because it was only slightly inconvenient to me. I gotta get rid of these guys. I gotta remember how long it takes to reload a composite. That's the main thing. Sometimes I forget how long it takes for a composite to reload. This fucking asshole spawns so many of these things. This is why I gotta kill him. Look at this. He makes them so fucking quickly. They're not like, they, they despawn. They're not that bad. But like, basically, this is how you... Is he on me? No, he's not. Okay. Basically, they're just annoying. They're just like fucking... Annoying little assholes. These, these unifier zombies. One more shot should do it. Let's make sure I'm in a straightaway that I can safely reload in now. There we go. Yeah, we've been getting more zombies out here on the, uh, on the, on the feet, in the fields lately, chat. Ever since, uh, is that, that's just a blood clot, right? Yeah, that's the blood vessel. He already despawned, so he's gone. We get more zombies migrating towards the house lately, chat. Uh, no one tell anyone that, I, that my game crashed right there. They might pick on me, by the way. Like, just please don't tell anyone that my game crashed. I really don't want people to bully me. Yeah, we've been getting more swarmers out here in the lack. Making a scene. 
Is the uptime thing your job? Or task? What, what do you mean uptime? Who, who, what the fuck is... Wait a minute, what the fuck? Why am I getting... Oh, okay. I thought my chat arena was bugging for a second. His brain is shrinking. Could a guy with a shrinking brain kill this guy in two swings like that? Chat? The command for the stream's runtime. The uptime thing. I thought that's never worked. You know the uptime thing is listed on my stream, right? Like, it just shows now on Twitch. I think it's time we take a peek over at that fucking lab chat. Alright. First, I'm gonna swing by the fucking base. Well, the, uh, the, the houses, the, the town is the word I'm trying to say. We wanna go to the town quick. I wanna kill any animals, well, any zombies we see on the way. Because we've been getting zombies coming from, like, the north. I think it's because of all the noise. I think zombies are genuinely hearing the fire, running to the fire, and the ones that don't get caught in the fire continue to migrate this way from the center of town, which leads them to my woods and then to my house. I had like a swarm of like 20 swarmers outside my house the other day while I was prepping. It was scary. Dude, I don't like that. I don't like that shit at all. So we're gonna have to start finding out what the hell's going on with this whole thing. But that's why we're gonna swing on over to the base, well, to town real quick. Because ideally, the fire should be getting close to wrapping up. Unfortunately, it doesn't burn while you're not near it, which is the problem. Fires in Cataclysm only burn when you're in, like, the active uh, radius of it, which I'm pretty sure is, like, a radius of about 5 by 5 around your character. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong on that. I actually don't know the active radius in this game. But for the most part... The only stuff that actually, it's like your reality bubble is what it's called, like technically in the game's design. It's like the range at which everything actually functions in the blocks. Isn't it 12 by 12 fields on the map? Is it 12? Five by five or six by six? 12 by 12 is a little big. Maybe. 12 would put me out of the range of it. But I definitely see a little bit of a slowdown when I'm like eating food and stuff, which makes me think that I'm in the range somehow. See how many, let's see how many zombies are in this horde up here. So this is uh, why we are actively concerned about the current state of noise in this town as a result of my firebombing. Because currently we have festering pigs. We have wild zombie hogs. Good news is all these guys can be kited and killed with a bike and a crossbow, which makes them not as scary. This looks like RimWorld. Yeah, it's just like RimWorld. In fact, these zombies might even see me. Ah, they do, they do. Let's make use of this and kite them back towards town. Back towards the fire, even. These zombies are all very slow. So uh, I should be able to... And none of them are ranged. So we can just sort of bait them away. Because these zapper zombies... Those zapper zombies don't actually have any ranged capabilities. They're not. They're not shockers, so... We'll sort of just bait them back up towards town. What's that heartbeat? You know, sometimes that heartbeat just happens. Get these guys back towards town. Come on, gentlemen. Swarmer. Yoink. Yeah, I wish I hit a little bit harder. Even though that was 62 damage, which is very hard, to be fair. Wouldn't mind hitting a little bit harder. And having a little bit of a better aim in general. I don't want to shoot too many bullets, well, bolts, because these are sort of expensive for me to make currently. Alright, I think these guys have come far enough back towards town that they're going to start following the sound of the fire again once I've gotten out of their sight. Let's see how the fire's doing. How about that? It's been a little bit since we've seen the fire. Yep. There's the hole that I broke uh, the uh, electric bike out of. I had to mine that through. And as you can see, I was sort of pushing the... Uh, pushing it on the old range from the fiery inferno. <laughs> that is sick car. Are you talking about my car? Are you talking about a car like in the game, like somewhere else? Because my car is pretty sick. And it's the only car here. So I think you must be talking about my car, which is actually a bike with two trunks in it. 
Well, I mean... Yeah, this thing is still... Infer this is still an inferno. I might just watch it for a minute while these zombies come towards me. See how it spreads. Because we do need to sort of... This needs to wrap up. You know, this is this is a situation. I told you guys this would happen, by the way. I did warn you that if we let this get ridiculous, this would get stupid. I'm going to slap this guy. Hang on. An asshole. Get my bolts back from these guys. This has to this has to end this um this fire. It is going to take a year. I'm aware of that. But I would like to fucking... Here's the thing, chat. Within there... Is nails. I want those nails. I very much want those nails. That's honestly why I burned this place to the ground at the end of the day, was that I wanted all the nails from it. You know? 2,000 nails. In here. 2,000! In just this view visible section I have right now, they don't burn from fire. Alright? I want those for construction. The fastest way to get nails in this whole fucking game chat is by burning a house to the ground. Legit. That's like a- that's a- that's a secret tip from me to you. Burn houses down. Burn something to the fucking ground. You will get a billion fucking nails. What about the upper levels? I don't think the school has an upper level. If it does... Uh oh. Actually, I can check. Oh, yeah, this school had two floors. In fact, it had four floors. Yeah, that sounds dangerous. <clears throat> for them, for anyone in there still. Which there are no people in there. At least this has done a good job of probably clearing out a lot of the zombies in the area. I mean, there's still some over here. And we are starting to get mutations, Chet. We're starting to, we're going to start seeing boomers a lot. I've seen a spitter. Which shoots acid, which is not good. Uh, those fucking scare me. That means we have to start carrying a towel around. Yeah, we're gonna start having to, like, carry around, like, better stuff. My crossbow isn't loaded. Uh, I always forget to load my crossbow. Ignore. Yeah, we're getting all sorts of zombies now thinking they have a chance against me. Let's, let's bike away. Let's take a look around the roads. Cause this place is like a fucking ghost town now. Like there's very, there's many. Ooh, my arch nemesis. So you finally shown yourself. This fucking asshole. At long last, we see the true monster of the cataclysm. Spider zombie. In its fearsome appearance, this vile abomination skitters on its four, on its four pair of limbs, as its nimble motion has gone beyond limitations. I'm gonna shoot him. Ow! I hit the fucking mirror. I didn't even see it. Okay. Well, I won. <laughs> I should probably get off and pulp him before he gets back up. I pull a handbrake. I should probably get him. I don't like spider zombie. Ooh, hang on. How fresh are these? Rotten. God damn it. They're never cooked. I mean, I, I don't mean cooked. I mean, they're never, like, not rotten anymore. Yeah, these both swarmers. Zombie. Zombie. Normals. Stop driving the car. Get out the X. We'll tango with these two. Excellent save timing. Come on! I'm not as weak as I was before, chat. While my stats aren't ridiculous, I am getting stronger. And with the advance, with my quick ability, I am also much better at melee because I'm just faster than them. I get a lot more. I get more moves. I'm powerful. I'm only gonna get more powerful. Overweight. I am fat. I mean hell, Chet. 
If you want a fucking, if you want a fucking full disclosure, I could easily open up the debug menu and show you exactly how fucked my vitamin intake is. Because I'll tell you what, I don't eat. <laughs> I don't eat well. I'm afraid to see my vitamin intake. Sometimes I open it out of curiosity, just because I'm like, I'm, I. It's very difficult to tell how fucked you are on vitamins without taking like multivitamins every day. Show us, show us, show us. I'm not sure I want to show you. We'll open it if my character ends up being so fucking sick one day that we don't know what's wrong with him. Because the vitamin system in this game is still a little bit tricky to get used to. Is that another meth lab? Hang on. Huh. Eh, not better than mine. The vitamins weren't working anyways? Yeah, I don't think they are. But it's still fun to see. Like, my guy has negative 5,000 iron. <laughs> His blood is fucking like a gas at this point, chat. Okay, so that is a fucked house. Uh, I'm not even gonna go in this one. I'm gonna label this as never enter. Pretty sure this house has a bomb in it. <laughs> Pretty sure this is the one that ha might have toilets that explode. I don't go in houses that have boarded up windows. We just don't do that. If you wanna live a long time, don't do boarded up window housing. All right, we got some more zombies down the way, some boomers. Let's try to get that boomer. If we can. Ah, all the other ones are getting too close. We're gonna be doing mainly night raids. I'm just sort of trying to kite these guys towards the fire because I like the chances of me, I don't like the chances of me clearing this gap. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I do like my chances of clearing this gap. See ya. God, bikes are so good, bud. I got so good at driving these things eventually. How long is that gonna take? Moves 174, anything in front of me? I should be good. There we go. Got him! All right. Just don't want boomers. Those things make a ridiculous amount of noise. Which aren't good for covert ops. Dissoluted Devourer. I don't like hearing that. Where is he at? Oh god. <laughs> We're gonna devour us already. Oh no! We're gonna have to deal with him. We're gonna have to cut him out and shoot him in the field. A Dissoluted Devourer. Human bodies fused together into a colossus with heads and limbs sticking out of its bloated body. You may have trouble estimating its healthiness. And its cap its capabilities may change. Yeah, diluted dissoluted devourers are pretty fucking spicy. Chat. We try to we try to be awfully careful around these guys. But good news is they're also fairly slow. The ones we re we really want to worry about in this pile is like the pellucid zombie, which is a fucking acid zombie, acid spitter. You got a lot of like weirdos starting to spawn. Like, there's more spider zombies everywhere. Fortunately, I'm strong enough to take on spider zombies. But the, the scary thing about spider zombies is that they jump. Like, watch this. See that? He just cleared another like five blocks. Every once in a while, he gets to do a jump. That lets him lets him get much closer than you'd normally think he'd be able to do. So check if I have a straightaway here. I do. Okay, so we can kill some stuff in a row here. I missed him. Let's kite these guys out of town. The ones that are on us, at least. We're not gonna raid any of this place until- Ooh, that's the fucking win. This is why you wanna do a scouting mission before you raid. That's a house full of zombie dogs. It's a dog house. We don't wanna be going in there when, you know, when we're looting. But it's good to have them out here now so we can bait them all into the field. So let's slow down our car, our bike, and just get these guys up north. Hey. <laughs> Where'd you come from, bud? What are the zoos doing? Yeah. I might just swing up to whatever that farm is there and just see what's around there. It's probably a silo. Let's make this a double trip. We can swing up to that farm, check what's up there. See some of the cars on the roads while we're at it. 
Fortunately, now that we have a bike, we can actually check roadways without much worry. Like, yeah, we're going to see some weird zombies, like acidic zombies and stuff. But, like, most stuff isn't going to be able to hurt us. As long as we're careful. So, like, you can really... You can really speed through town and just sort of get everything's attention. As long as we know that we can get off of the road, like up here, when you're usually pretty good, as long as you look in front of you. Rabbit. Hey. Bye. That's a brute. Yeah, town's starting to get a little bit spicy, chat. Its entire body bulges with distended muscles and swollen, festering wounds. Yeah, we don't want him to come near us. He'd be bad. So let's go ahead and let's get off on this, uh, in this gap here. Let's get off here. On that one. Keep going north. Yeah, he'd hurt you. He'd hurt you without a gun. We have, like, 80 bullets still. I may end up just having my gun on my holster, like, on me as well, in a strap. Just in case stuff gets spicy. Sun's setting, it's almost time for night raids. Just in case stuff gets spicy, cause um, he's spicy and we don't want to have a crossbow to defend ourselves against a brute. Let's do this before the sun sets all the way. Getting up on this silo because we can see much farther when you're on a high place. So if you remember what the map looked like before, now it's that. Basically, we can see everything in like a fucking like 40 like block radius, which is huge. So now we can see, now we've got pretty much this whole area charted. Including where all the zombie hordes are in the area right now. Including some that are currently drowning themselves. In the waters. So what's this? Large power substation. Here we have a state park. Nature trail. What is this? Oh, a stadium. That's interesting. Do uh, you guys have a... Okay, they, this place has a subway station. That's good. Our town that we're at currently doesn't have one. Subway station is usually a very quick way to find... Uh... Oh. If we're going to night raid, that's where we're going. Tonight. If we're going to do a night raid, we're going to the used bookstore. Though I don't want, I don't necessarily want to go in there. I do need a tailoring book, and used bookstores also contain other books of the uh, darker variety. Farmhouse. Believe it or not, at a stadium once I found a power armor. <laughs> so I am interested in looting that stadium. I think I found the power armor on stream. So I would like to swing by that stadium. Eventually. But we'll have to do that in a bit. Right now, I think we swing back home quickly. Uh, and then at night, we start getting a little bold. Because there are some houses in here I'd like to check. We'll probably hug the bottom of the map. And clear out all these stations and stuff. I need to get to a gas station. Well, I do still want to see if there's an acetylene torch around. There's a lot of stuff here. There's gun stores. Hardware stores. Hardware store would be good. I might be able to find a torch in there. Car showroom. That could be end game tier cars. That could be like a good solar car. So uh, And a dojo. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on this side of town that I'd like to check out. So odds are what we're going to do is we're going to come back uh, without the bike. No, with the bike. And um, once the sun is set... You know, that's the weirdest thing about my bike. I think it's because of how powerful my legs are. But my bike makes engine sound sometimes. I promise you, there's no engine in this car. There is no ignition. There's nothing like that. This car doesn't have that. I sort of want to grab all that wheat, though. Eh. Let's grab some wheat. We'll do it the alternative way this time. Last time I was doing it with, uh... Last time I was doing this with, um, the... 
maximum inventory move, but there's also a thing called dragging, which is the forward slash button underneath backspace. And essentially means you're going to drag anything that's underneath your character at any point in time. Which basically means all I'm doing right now is dragging every single piece of wheat behind my character. It's good for dragging whole piles of stuff that need to be moved. And you don't want to make like a sorting system for it. This basically just means anything I walk over is going to be hauled. I don't use it a lot, but it's good for stuff like this when you want to grab like a couple of wheat and move it to the bike and then load it. There we go. That's enough. Now we just load this in like this. Bada bing. Bada boom. 53 wheat, like nothing. Let's go. I do not understand why it does that. Hang on. Do not understand why sometimes it makes that, it makes that sound. I'm excited for Night to Fall though, chat, because then you guys get to see the new me. The new night vision me. The new god tier me. Your guy is making those sounds for fun. Yeah. Actually, you know, I could loot all these houses in this row right now, at night right now, once the sun sets. I might just do that. Night's in 15 minutes. Rest till then. Yeah, now I can have night vision that's essentially god tier. This is my new night vision radius. Before it was like another four or five blocks in. Uh, now I can actually walk around zombies and they won't see me. Uh, so we're going to leave our vehicle here for now. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. Chat. Is this a boarded up? Oh, this is toilet house. Okay, we can't go in this one. Mine in the toilet. There's going to be a mine in that fucking toilet in that house. We're not going in there. That's, that's, that's insta-death house. People, that's where you lose your first character if you've done, if you've been playing well, that's where you lose your first character. I don't have anything on me for looting houses. I wasn't ready to do this. Oh, that works. Hello? Hello? We're looking for books. Trapper's Life, we already have that. I'll also take a wood saw. We already have one, but I always like more. What is this? It's a fireplace. Remind me when I get back home. I'm gonna need to get myself a fucking... I'm gonna need to get myself a... Towel and carry it with me everywhere now. We can't not have a towel anymore with, uh, with like how many acid zombies are gonna be in the game now. Also, I need to grab any bleach I see, because uh, we are at the phase of bleach. We want bleach all the time. We want bleach, we want every chemical we can get, because some of them are actually useful, even though a lot of them are not. We also want as much soy sauce we can get, because that's for smoking meat and all that crap, which is good for keeping food longer, which is convenient. I see a zombie child outside. They can't see me, because I have fucking perfect night vision. This is a duplex, so I'm not going to get much here. Is this a wooden rack? I should have really fucking... Oh, that's a charger in the darkness, huh? I mean, technically, I'm allowed to bully these guys. There's not much they can do about it. That's sort of the rule now with how long range my cross... This is why I specifically took this crossbow. Because it's 16 range. Like, we're only at half of my range right now. Really, I can get out to, like, here and shoot this this zombie child with like a extended aim and there's nothing that they can really do to stop me like look look at their reaction to getting shot it's sort of just a ow 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 what ow hello 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 over there <laughs> And then I just keep moving. That's why night raiding is now my thing. Uh, I can just sort of... I gotta be careful of the charger, of course. He can he can be an asshole. But even him, he's just gonna go, Ow, 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 ow. Where is this coming? I and that's why we're using a crossbow now rather than a gun. It's because for night raiding, 
This here lets us basically do whatever the fuck we want to some extent. I wish I had my cross. I wish I had my crowbar is all. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I'll take a halligan bar and another crowbar and a shovel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure, I'll have to go back and grab the other one, but let's just drop all this stuff off. How convenient. <laughs> How lovely. People think that my game is like either cursed or very lucky. I'd agree most of the time. I get some really stupid luck in this game. It's because I had to sacrifice all my loved ones to a dark eldritch god to get this powerful. And also I have the curse of never remembering to reload my uh, crossbow, which sort of pays, sort of, you know, sort of makes it even. I, I get very lucky, but also simultaneously I actively cannot remember how to load my crossbow after shooting it. That's an incandescent husk. This once human is visible only as a glowing white silhouette that you have to squint to see, cloaked in a crackling field of lightning that pulses like a beating heart. It walks slowly and deliberately, the thunderstorm surrounding it eagerly jumping to anything conductive within its grasp. He's in the sewage plant. <laughs> Which explains very, it explains very well why he's like that. Well, now that we have a Halligan bar, we can basically open any door we want in the game without any struggle, which is fucking nice. Nothing in there. We're only after books right now. I'm just gonna check all these houses for books and spices. If there's any like soy sauce, mustards, condiments, we want those. We don't need much of the other stuff, but condiments let us uh, keep food for much longer, so. Detergent we also want for washing things. Towel, we're gonna take that right now and hang on to it. Salt, always need salt. Dehydrate fish, always need it. Corn, broth, corn meal, take it. And actually also take these glass jars. I'm, half, I'm hoping maybe I'll just find a science book in, yeah, we're never going in this house, by the way. Just give it up. Don't even ask me to. I'm fairly certain if I open this door, I get a shotgun to the face and I get actually my head blown off anyways. So like, that's just never, we're never going in there. Could you go in that house, please? No. Quick save goof? Chad, I don't even want to quick save goof it because it's just like, you just have to take my word for it. That's a drug house. Sometimes, dude, any house that's boarded up, I don't fucking trust it a mile away. This is a drug house. But even still, I'm not going in there. Any house that has boards, I've just sort of made the mental note to never go in it, is what I do. Uh, cause most of the time they have a bomb. At least he opened it. At least I did open it. Well? There's a shocker zombie in it and an incandescent zombie here. I'm tempted to shoot the incandescent one because he's never going to see me in the darkness as well. I should be able to kill him, actually, believe it or not. Because his, his brightness goes to about, yeah, the barriers there. So if I go to like here, he won't be able to see me and I can easily shoot him. So, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot this guy right here. Yep, 40. 18. 50, 30, another 18, 25, a bloated zombie just fucking exploded. How much damage has this guy taken? Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's nearly dead. Bonk. Okay, that's the incandescent zombie gone, which is a, a, a nice, a nice calming thing to have happen. Now we don't have to worry about that anymore. And I'm going to take his body and uh, cut it up and um, use it for my dark work. So, come here. Hup. Put it in the back. <laughs> We're going to dissect this motherfucker at my house. Because he might have mutation. He might have weird stuff in him. Like, uh, like CBMs. So, we dissect him. Back at the house. Anyone? Make a, make a mental note, chat. If you want CBMs, 
So you can get started on like bionics in the game. You'll need an auto duck and aesthetics. Sorry. Yeah, and we'll need, um, we will need, uh, you know, you will need the actual bionic, the CPM. And to do that, you're going to need, um, pretty much any zombie. You can get any zombie that's doing zappy shit or wacky shit. Make a note of dissecting them unless they have acid, because most of the time they might drop a faulty bionic, uh, which can then be fixed with an autoclave. Or sometimes they'll even drop a functional bionic. It's worth doing. Where'd that shocker go? I don't really want to go any further that way if I don't know where he is. Also, I think I might be eating radiation doing this. Where'd you get your sound pack? This is at sound pack with a, uh, an additional music thing that I have for like ambient tracks, which I quite like. All right, let's pop up in the map. Uh, I looted that place, looted that place. We're going to loot pretty much this whole area, actually. All these houses should be looted. They're not as populated as the, as the north, well, the southern part of town. Hey. He lost me. <laughs> this is why night vision's so fucking good, dude. Hey, bye bye Bonk. Now I just run up to him and slap him one time and he'll die. Yes! An augmented abomination. A heavily augmented mutant of some sort, deformed from its enhancement. It seems even more indiscriminate in its rampage than the undead. I bet his night vision sucks. Also, these guys are great, chat, because what they do is they kill zombies. These guys are friends. He will have CBMs on him, most likely, if we kill him. But these guys I like keeping around because what they do is make a lot of noise and never die. Zombies don't do enough damage. Uh, don't, they don't front load enough damage to kill these guys. At least early game. I can kill him with a crossbow. I can It'll take a long time, and it would depend on him not seeing me. I'd probably want to use my bike. But, um, I'm not going to go near him right now. That's something we'd worry about later. That's not a, that's not a now thing. That's a... <laughs> Asshole. Ah. I should have known that would happen. Sometimes these guys are actually smart enough to actually hear you and, like, follow your trail. Especially swarmers. I'm gonna have to clean my wound. He bit me. I got too complacent. Well, good news is, chat, what I am is disease resistant. And infection resistant. <laughs> so, so honestly, dude, honestly, I wish your fucking, I wish your bite luck. You have an increased chance for bad wounds and infections to heal on their own and only suffer pen reduced penalties from them. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> even that's just like a eh. I'm not gonna stop looting for that. I'll just do it when I get home. Usually it's a nothing thing. I'm pretty sure I can even craft my own antibiotics now. You got retractable claws back? Yes, I did. Mine! Oh, baby, you gotta be kidding me if, if you think I'm gonna fucking skip out on grabbing this box of toilet paper. I actually am. Hey. Yes! We're hearing a lot of zombies in this house or this room above me. In the garage, there's something in the garage. I'm tempted to not open it. I'm gonna go in the... Yeah, there's something throwing a real tantrum in there. I'm not really sure what it is. Let's grab all the seasoning. I'm gonna go into the basement for sure. Those are always good to get stuff from. Yeah, let's swing the bike around. Let's bring it to this road. Then we'll go back. We'll bring the bike around uh, as close as we can. That's a skate park. We should be able to get the bike through that. Honestly. Yeah, we're not getting it. Actually, actually... Let me get right through here. Alright. We can pull the bike right through this lane. If I can find it. Hang on. Uh, I'll label it with... Uh, with this. 
I'll label the entrance lane with a uh, with a dehydrated fish. There we go. Where's my bike? Down here. Now we can pull right through here. There it is. There we go. I don't care about the fish. I also think I destroyed it. So that fish is gone. But now I can pull the bike through. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Bike has access to this road and we don't need to take any wacky paths. Stop. I'm not diving from a moving vehicle. This vehicle isn't moving. All right. I'm not gonna use advanced inventory for this. I'm just gonna toss all this stuff like this. All right. Imagine if I get this, imagine if my leg actually gets infected and then I die from it. And then that's how it ends. Like I had everything possible that could stop me from getting an infection and being totally fine, but I get infected and I just like ignore it and then I die. That would be so good in like the saddest hubris sort of way. And I think would be an excellent lesson to everyone watching to not end up like me and just go back home in the five minutes it takes to travel back home and like cure your fucked up body. I do not want to go in that fucking house. Right, this is a motorcycle, it's got a totally fucked battery so we're not doing that. I'm gonna peek in this place, but I'm gonna do it the smart way. Actually, I can't. There's no pulley here. Okay, so this garage only opens from the inside. This is such a stupid idea. Oh, it's just a swarmer. Yeah, it's just some swarmers. <laughs> you guys done making a tantrum now? That was the noise? They're just walking? Anything in here worth my time? There's something under this guy. Hang on. What is it? Hammer. Oh, bye. Man, full night vision, dude. New map. Another tourist guide. We've already used these, so I just bring them to the next area I go to. Another one. Paracord survival watch. Tells the time. Has a thermometer. Thermometer would be good. I'm going to wear that. New watch. And that means I can take off the other watch I have. Nice, now I know the fucking, now I know the temperature. Check weather information, 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Syringe of adrenaline, I'll take that. I don't know why this basement has that, but basements have been getting wackier and wackier stuff lately. Yeast and oxidizer powder, we'll take both. Give me antiseptic, you son of a bitch. Come on, enable my reckless behavior by letting me never go back home until the night ends. Come on now. Don't make me go home. Let me keep doing stupid fucking shit in this video game. Don't ever make me go home. Come on, give me my antiseptics now. Screwdriver, glass jar. Another exacto knife. I'd like a scalpel, but I'm gonna need to find like a doctor's office to do that. Is there one in town? No. There's no hospitals. No. God damn it. That's a bummer. I'd like to find a doctor's office for a scalpel and maybe an auto dock. But there's none in this town, nor have I seen any apparently in any town. Miscellaneous software. Nothing. Except for this guy Fosk, Fox mask, with I, which I cannot wear. I cannot wear that. Paper, long strings, duct tape. Lots of duct tape. I've been getting that a lot, which is good. I'm not complaining. Are you using a custom tile set? I'm using Undead People. It's on GitHub. Uh, uh, yeah, it's on GitHub. Y'all look it up. All right, that place is nothing either. I, I, it looks like I'm skimming, but I'm honestly just like, I know what I'm looking for now most of the time. There he goes. He's, throwing, he's walking that way now. I might let him migrate further that way so I can kill these, like crush these guys properly. I would like to pulp these bodies. These are a lot of chargers. 
This is so dumb, I'm not doing it. Systems check, error. Systems check, error. Yeah, his fucking, like, augmentations and yelling at him. We don't want to go near him. What I will do is go to the recycle center and check more of the houses on this road because it's not like anything can really see us aside from a shady zombie. And you best pray we don't see a shady zombie. That's worse than a shady zombie. Fucking feral hunters. Ha ah! Ah! Too easy, bitch! Hey! Hey, idiot! Hey, idiot! Look at us! And look at you! Stupid! <laughs> <laughs> This thing has batteries, right? Yeah. Uh. Trying to get him into a weird spot. Technically, I can shoot through the windows, but it'd be pretty loud and I'd make a lot of noise. But then again, this guy's gonna start making noise if I don't shoot him soon, so... At a certain point, we're gonna have to get rid of this guy. Let's try to get him through a window. Not the... Not the the, the front, the front. There we go. Yeah, the hunt, feral hunters are fucked up. Do not let one get into melee range with you unless you are very confident. These things are fucked. They move incredibly fast. The odds are not likely you're gonna get away from one if you run. Uh, unless you get into a car like I just did. Which is why I ran to a car. Scissor Jack, we don't have one of those yet. Grab that. They have very good night vision too, as you could see. I was thinking maybe I could ditch him through just running behind him, like behind the car, but I could not. Those guys are fucked. This is a recycle plant. What is anything good in here? Uh, paper. Well, if I ever need like basic ingredients, electronics. Actually, there's a lot of good stuff in here. I've never been to one of these places. Believe it or not. Eh. Oh, all these batteries are... Actually, there's a lot of... Oh, damn! People don't use their fucking batteries, dude. We gotta bring the bike over here. This is great. Holy shit. Pull up. We gotta get, we gotta get our bike in on this. After I've cleared out these zombies. I made sure there's no more, like, feral hunters. Usually those things travel in packs. Actually, they don't really, but I, I rarely don't see them in groups. Uh, I'm gonna pulp these now. And you are coming with me, motherfucker. <laughs> Wait a minute, this isn't my bike. Where's my bike? Oh, it's a it's a lane over. Ah, this is gonna be annoying. Oh, I can pull through here. Okay. Zapper zombie equals Zapper zombie equals possible CBMs. So uh we bring him with us. I want the batteries. That's the only thing I'm going down there to get right now. Okay, go grab the batteries from that recycling uh, plant. And then we are heading back home to deal with my festering wounds. Nice. Can I walk over these? No. All right, well, we got lots of plastics, looks like here. Yeah. Glass. You don't think they'd leave mutagens in the glasses when they throw them out. No, 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 no. Aluminum. Iron. Copper. Steel. God fucking damn, chat. This place is great. This place is great. Tomato did find the basic CBM recipe book with, book with anti-glare compensators. Yeah, but I mean, it's all worthless if you don't have an auto duck, to be honest. I'm just grabbing them because it is nice to have, like, the power thing if you can get lucky and get a power mark two out of a guy. Well, it's all worthless without an auto duck. And we don't have a hospital near us, so currently <laughs> we're operating on the worthless part. The only thing I'm going to bring back with me right now is going to be the batteries because those have charge. The ones that have charge are helpful for my arc welder that I've made. So, uh... Gonna transfer these. Anything that has a charge. Okay. 
Heavy battery. Heavy. Light, light, light. Even if it's not like full charge. If it's not like a... And be, even the ones that are low. We can use that for chemicals. So, honestly, we're going to bring anything medium as well. It's going to separate them out of the fucking boxes. So I can drag them all to the bike. Heavy battery. It's a decent amount of capacity still on that. And this one. Good. That one's good. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Okay. Move these all into the bike. We still have some space. I mean... Wait a minute. Oh. Free bolts. There's actually some decent tools in here. Nails? I'll take the nails. Yeah, we'll take the nails. Man! I can't believe I've never rummaged through trash zones before. This is great! I've always skipped this place because it's garbage, but... And then again, I was never near this place. So, like, I never really had a point to go near it. It was always very out of the way for me to go to a recycling plant. I mean, it's not more nails than the 10,000 at the school right now currently burning down, but it's something. These are the things I'd want to grab if I have space for them. A lot of frames. Is that a canning pot? Who the fuck tosses out a fucking canning pot, bro? All right, we got to bring that. We're going to need the canning pot. Motherfucker, who tosses out a perfectly good canning pot? Damn. Steak knife. You think there's a scalp? A steel jerry can? Fucking recycling plants, dude. What the fuck? Anything else in here? Kettle. Mufflers. Foot cranks. Lots of vehicle supplies, even. Steel chain we'd want. Actually, I just saw... It. Is that... Ha! <laughs> Alright. This is getting stupid. I'll take it. That's a crucible, baby. That means I don't need to go get clay now. Spoons. Foot crank. I want the steel chain. I want the bear trap. I'll also take any lumps of metal. Or small metal sheets that I can still fit. Barbed wire. Blade. Let's drop this stuff off. God damn, dude. A fucking crucible? Not bad, not bad. I think we're pretty much full on inventory if I had to guess. Which more is this happening? We have like a hundred we got like 70 more spots left. Let's grab this frame. So if I ever get any decent metal stuff, I can actually apply it. If I, I might find an arc uh, bench at some point. I wouldn't mind just having the frame on me. To plug it in. Steel frame. Got that one. I mean, steel frames for making vehicles. Basically, it's how you craft a vehicle. So uh, anytime I can get steel frames for free and not have to dismantle a vehicle is nice. Because it's just more time consuming. Wire. Wire is good. I think we're done here. I won't be here all night. Yeah, let's get out of here. But hey, yeah, this is great for um crafting all this copper. That'll be helpful. It's good that's all labeled and like sectioned off. Yeah, let's head home. Let's go home and cure our festering wound that we put off curing until now. I remember how to get back home. Here we go. I went through here. I passed it. I missed it. Wait. I can fix this. There we go. All right, Chet. We're making our way back home with a billion pieces of gear. We will murder the bone girl. Take her clothes. Become more powerful than ever imagined. And get some food. I don't know how I managed to pull off that turn, but I'm definitely not going to be allowed to get away with it. 
Oh, come on. I am not stuck right. I'm stuck. Ah, fine. I hate it when you get stuck on like a shrub. Happy? Dude, this, car this goddamn engine won't turn on. <laughs> the fuck is a stupid. Really? There we go. We good now? This thing won't go back. We're not overweight. Actually, we're probably a little overweight. <laughs> we're probably, we probably overweighed this thing a little bit, to be fair. But it still goes forward. See? Son of a bitch. Stop driving. Grab this. Yeah, no, it's just heavy. Fine. We'll come back. We're going to have to come back for some of it. I wanted these. <laughs> That fix it. No, this thing's just like bugging. I guess I could ditch the corpses. I think this thing's just getting. I think this thing's just getting wacky. Okay, there we go. I knew using a bike to transfer ridiculous amounts of supplies would end up biting me. I knew one day I would be made to regret this. Okay. Well, back in you guys go. Also, I should pulp you. We'll come back for these two. I want the items. I will not accept not taking all this shit with me. Yeah, baby. We're back on the road again. Honestly, I'm skeptical this thing couldn't work. Uh, I'm, I'm skeptical that I, I, uh, I actually need to ditch those bodies for this. But I'll come back for them. I know where they are. I'm also not entirely sure I'd actually get anything decent out of them. So uh, let's get let's not go down the main road again, considering how many zombies there were on it. We're gonna we're gonna peel off here. Especially since I'm overweight and getting chased right now by zombies might not be ideal. Uh, let's get my crossbow out. I hope I don't crash. Nice. We're gonna have to drive by the Mego encampment. Actually, we have to drive by a lot of stuff. Rotten? Rotten. <sighs> no one ever has things of value on them anymore. Everyone's got like garbage. Everyone's rotten. I can't eat that. Actually, I can. <laughs> I might turn around for that body. Wait, no, I already have some stashed at my house. I right, have some rotten human meat. Nice. It's only 11, dude. We can go back out once we're done with this. Dogs. Bulldogs. Pooping everywhere. I sure hope I don't crash into a rock. Or like a Miko. Or a troll. Yeah, there's the rock. Can't see any farther than this. I'm in like advanced darkness. Ah, uh, okay. The map looks like a human head in profile. Oh yeah, there's like a nose. And there's his cone brain. Yeah. It's like a guy with like a big brain. Like a chat member. It's pretty good. I like that. I like that. Looks just like chat and it's stupid big head. The stupid big head chat has all the time. Alright. Back home after a successful raid of a million batteries. I'm in, I'm down with that. Let's um... Actually, it's time that we make a drop-off depot. We need to make a new uh, unsorted section. Because... Anything specifically dropped off, let's say right here. In this square is going to be considered unsorted, which will go into the sorting piles inside. So now, if I go here and I transfer everything outside into the drop off, it'll all go inside. Which saves me a lot of time having to transfer it all in manually. Nice. 
Hey, I'm home. I magically spawned everything in. Why is all this stuff? Why is all this sinew and shit not in its shelves? There all right, chat. Oh, wouldn't you know it? My bite wore off. God damn it! Well, hey, I guess I'll use my bandages. I had to do that too. Yeah. We've also got a lot of antiseptic now. And also, pretty sure I can make, yeah. I don't think I've shown you guys how many drugs I can make. I can make Thorazine and antipsychotic medication. I can make heroin. I can make Dizepam. Used to treat fucking panic attacks. I can make potassium iodide. Help to mitigate the injury caused by radiation absorption. Essentially we have anti-radiation drugs. I can make ammonia. I can make antifungal drugs. I can make meth. Easily. Methanol. I can make concentrated acid. Which has all sorts of purposes. Oh yeah. Only low grade. True. We can't make the good stuff. Well, you all thought I was fooling when I said I was going to kill the girl. Y'all did think that, didn't you? Y'all thought I was doing a wacky one. I wasn't. We need our armor. Chat, look at my gear. Alright? Look at my gear. Look at what I'm wearing. Kevlar vest. And like, I am not wearing pants. Because I don't have pants. I don't own them. Now let's take a let's take a look at her. Okay? We're gonna sort her armor for it. Cause that shows us all of her armor. Leather loincloth. Okay, that's not that crazy. Pair of socks, alright, that's not that wacky. A cloak, okay. Heavy survivor suit. Yeah, that's gonna be 20 bash protection, 24 cut protection, acid and fire resistance. Uh, would fit me perfectly, is waterproof, has pockets, has a hood. Uh, coverage, 100% coverage. Has the encumbrance of a small, has the, has the storage of an essentially back, like, small backpack. Okay, that, and we're back to, like, tactical helmet. Okay, that's a lot of protection, too, and a lot of coverage. Light survivor gloves. Okay, that's a lot of protection again, and waterproof. Heavy survivor boots. 24 bash, 30 cut. Elbow pads, goggles. And a survivor backpack. Do it? Chad, I'm not just gonna do it. <laughs> I need you to come with me. Chad, I don't just do it. Take her to a fucking silo and push her off the top. <laughs> I'm gonna, do you think I'm gonna piss her off? She's a gun! And she kills people with that gun. I'm gonna walk her to the silo and I'm gonna shove her off the fucking roof. <laughs> That's how we get rid of people that need to die so I can get their clothes. Remember what happened? Oh yeah, remember that one time someone survived. I mean, if she survives, then she's good. Slide over. Get in the car. Technically, this fits us both. She just climbs in the cargo. <laughs> Come on, Bridget. Chat, I'm honestly like, you guys think, you guys, some of you might still think I'm about to do a switcheroo on you. I'm not. I'm really not. Like, <laughs> this girl's got too good of gear for me to waste leaving them in the house, dude. They gotta go. Besides, they've done all they can for me, and also I don't think this- I think this, uh, NPC is still very much in development, so they have no more quests or anything to offer me. You can unequip her items. True. But I'm also fairly certain she may have hidden my flail somewhere, which pisses me off. And I would like to see her crumpled body at the bottom of a silo. So, uh, I am pushing her off the side. Sorry. I'm calling the police! They won't get here in time. This is your fault!
This is about the flail. It was a good flail. Some of you forget how strong that flail was. Do I need to remind you how strong that? Do I need to like open up the debug menu and show you how much, how many stats that flail had? Just make another. I can't. She stole it and hit it. It was her flail, which I traded fairly for a Smith and Weston pistol with no ammo. I don't think I can squeeze through these woods. I'm gonna go for it. This was a mistake. Go back, go around the woods. I just got back and she's dead. About to be. The, ma the person who made this NPC was watching the stream one of the other days was asking me if I liked them. I said yes. I hope they don't take this personally, but their armor is far too efficient for me to leave it on them considering I haven't learned how to tailor and I haven't found a tailoring book yet. This girl's gotta go. Also, I think she deliberately slows down my ability to fucking... Wait a minute. Oh, that's the farm. That's a... That's like the guy. She slows down my reading speed, which is also annoying because she has to learn everything I learn because she can't just hang out by herself and that's all in PCs. Yep, let's just drop over all this wheat. Yep. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Over it. Come on now. Just like that. Come on. Come on. Alright, this is four floors up. Yep. Bridget, it's been a pleasure. Uh, I don't want you anymore. You're in the way. Um. You can still stop, Tomato. You're right, I could. Bridget, what the? Bridget. It's very good at not falling, actually. Bridget, get off the... Get off the roof, Bridget. 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 Bridget, you bitch. Get off the goddamn roof. We're gonna have a problem here if you keep fucking pushing me on this one. Understand your position here. Also, guard this position. See you around. Fuck it, damn it. Fine. Fine. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. She's moving out of the way of me, dude. She's smart. All right, Bridget. Let's talk about this like adults, okay? Let's trade items. She's got six rounds in that Smith and Weston. I don't know how she got those rounds, dude. I don't know how she got those fucking rounds. I want to set some miscellaneous rules. No, 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 no rules. That's scary. I was gonna shoot her, but if she's got rounds, <laughs> she could kill me. Technically. I have another plan. I have another plan. Wait here, Bridget. I'll be right back. This is fucked up. But this is a fucked up time we're living in right now, chat. I'm gonna go grab a grenade or two or five from my house. I'll huck him over the silo from the other side and blow her up. <laughs> no, that's such overkill. It's probably gonna kill me too. I'm gonna have to do it. Uh, she doesn't have night vision. She doesn't. Have, I'm just gonna shoot her with a crossbow, dude. That's it. There is no fucking way. She's not gonna die from this, or she's gonna fight back. She won't be able to see me. It doesn't matter. Even if she gets as close to me as possible on this side, she won't be able to see me. 
We're at the maximum of my night vision right now. This girl's gonna die. All right, I'm gonna shoot her. Like five times with a crossbow. All right, there's one. Reload. Yeah, she's not even moving. She doesn't even know where I am. I'm in advanced darkness. She just thinks I left and now someone else is shooting her. This might also take a while because currently she has a lot of armor and protection and I have... We're a little ways away. Might even move one block closer. Good news is she's not shooting at me. Don't do it! This is sad. Well, chat. On the other hand, what isn't sad is me having clothes, you know what I'm saying? And also, Bridget, dude, she's sort of crazy. And also, I need her armor. Because <laughs> I don't have good armor. And we're at week, we're at month two. This is like old Yeller if he mulched him. She calls you friend. True, she does. And that was her biggest mistake. <laughs> After I came up more rat than man, she should have known that I wasn't a good guy. All right, I'm just out here trying to survive, chat. Man, she's taking a lot of arrows. This is like fucking, this is like, Jesus. It's like arrow number seven. Eight. You call this safe? You're crazy and incompetent. Adios, motherfucker. She says, still unable to find me. Yeah, I think she does not like me anymore. I think she's angry now. Now she's upset. But she also still has no idea where I am. And now that we're enemies, I'm allowed to shoot her at rapid fire. Bridget just died. She's gay. <laughs> there we are. She took more arrows than I would have liked. She called me a motherfucker, dude. That was the real problem. Oh, she's gone now. Bridget's dead. <laughs> Fucking 19 bolts to the chest. She's dead. She's dead. All right. Well, grab all her clothes. This one of this stuff is gonna be pretty big. I'm gonna eat her. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> she will live on in my stomach. Cause that's fresh meat. Yes. Okay. So first of all, actually, get all his armor on and in that case also drop all my clothes anything that I am currently wearing I want on the oh I'm already wearing it happy survivor suit nice yeah leave that on for sure I want everything else that I'm wearing right now to be on the ground for a second so that I can equip the survivor gear white survivor gloves a pair of glove liners yeah put those on too Look at the fucking goggles, dude. And I can still see in the darkness. This was worth it. Killing her was worth it for this superpower character I now am. Heavy survivor suit. There's my backpack. Pair of elbow pads. Throw those on. Survivor backpack. Throw that on. Heavy survivor boots. Throw those on. Pairs of socks. Throw that on. Pair of binoculars. Yes. Paracord survival watch. Fire belt, holster, canteen, and I don't think we do the Kevlar vest. We skip the Kevlar vest, yeah. This, the wood axe. I'll take the Smith & Wesson. All the bandages. I was carrying a lot of bandages on me still. I didn't ditch half the stuff in my inventory, to be fair. Okay, the rest of the stuff goes in the vehicle. And we get the hell out of here. Oh, the tactical helmet. We don't need the, uh, we don't really need the mining helmet, do we? I forgot how bald I am. Whatever. It's not a big deal. No one's here to judge me anymore. God damn it. My electric, not electric bike is, oh, I forgot to grab her corpse. 
Hold up. Barrier? Yeah, I'm in a barrier. In my stomach. Because I'm a cannibal. Still. To this day. <laughs> Come on, Bridget. Throw her off the side, she'll float magically. Because that's how this game works. So just magically fly. Well, chat, honestly, at the end of the day, I win. Alright, that makes me the winner. Because I took... I used her for my own gain. And then when I was done with her, I shot her like a dog. And I'm now going to eat her. I win. I win Cataclysm. Even if I crash a couple of times on my way home, I still won. Yeah, but humanity as a species loses. Let's not forget she was talking about, like, bones and, like, the song bones make. I'm gonna be honest, Chad. I didn't really trust her as far as I could throw her at the end of the day. She sounds like a psycho. I'm saying that as a guy that's massively deformed and eats corpses. All right. Something off about that girl. I had to put her down before she put me down. Don't know where she got that ammo. actually really don't know how she got that ammo. How's that? Am I like on a huckleberry? Oh, there we go. I was like on something that was crashing me technically. Just get back into the lane that I've actually already been to so I know where I'm driving and I can zoom out a little bit and speed this up. Alright. That's a rock. No, that's actually... Yeah, that's a rock. That's a safe plant. Where the hell is the road? Right here. Alright, chat. I would call that a good trade-off. We got heavy armor. We got everything we could want. And when that armor breaks, hopefully we will already have a replacement pair because we will have found tailoring books by then, baby. We gotta take a nap. I mean, we actually, I'm not going to take a nap. I'm going to sleep when the sun comes up, even though I am tired right now, because I'm always sleepy. Remember, I have the sleepy perk now. Stop driving. And let's drop all this stuff that should still be in the drop-off. There you go, Bridget. Welcome back home. Yep. Yeah. Let's get cooking, Bridget. I oh. This place is a lot lonelier now. <laughs> I regret doing it. Is what I would say. If I regretted doing it. But I don't. Full butchery of the body. But first. Skin the corpse. I've gathered raw human flesh. From the body. I'm going to make it into a hat. Now. Full butchery. Pour the blood into a... Pour the blood on the ground. <laughs> Mop it up. Mop up the blood. There we go. Now... Let's cook some man. Let's make some fucking human meat. Yes. Now the question is... What kind of meat would I like to make? What kind of human meal... Am I interested in it? I could make her into jerky. That'll keep longest. Yeah? Could make her into some jerky. Bridget Worst. <laughs> yeah. I could make her into a bunch of bratwurst and eat it. But it would be a ridiculous amount of bratwurst. I'll make her into one bra. I'll make one bratwurst. And I'm gonna make the rest into jerky while choking on uh, smoke. <laughs> Disregard the coughing, that's normal. <laughs> Okay, the jerky's done. 
Jerk jerky. Fresh. <laughs> yes. Extinguish the fire. Wait a minute. Are we done? Or is there more? No, that's just making out a canned chicken. I don't want to do that. Let's go see if there's any more. Is there any more human parts? Boiled human stomach. Yeah, make that. All right. Now extinguish the fire. All I'd still want to do is uh, make some raw hide into something, into some actual cured hides, I think. Cure? No, cure. Cured hides. We've got a lot of raw hide actually to cure. Let's do that. Oh, I can't see. Oops. Cure. Yes. <laughs> You're feeling tired. Stop crafting. No. Finish the work. Finish the work. Then you can sleep. I don't care how ridiculous it is. The sun's up. All right, everything's filtered. Let's eat, and then we're going to sleep. Why do I even keep my water anymore? Here it is. A fucking absurd amount of water. Well, uh, I'm also going to eat this boiled human stomach. Which totally gets me going. And one of some of my 200,000 cracklings. Well, I'm going to sleep. Alone. In my deafeningly alone, quiet house. I'm not going to set an alarm. I'm just going to pass out. I can't believe she didn't just take the fall. Every other NPC I push off of Cliff's falls. And they die. And it's not as sad. I don't have to shoot them. What a night. <laughs> what a night, chat. I struggle to awareness. I'm actually going to keep sleeping for like another five hours. So I'm not tired specifically. What a night. So why did he kill Bridget? Oh, for no particular reason other than the fact that Bridget had uh, insanely strong endgame armor on that um, I can't make, nor do I have any fucking progress towards being able to make because I've never found a tailoring book. So naturally, the best option for me was to murder her and rip the mint condition armor off of her dead body. See? What I mean? And so I am well armored. So I have clothes now. I am strong. We're actually gonna toss this. Oh yeah. We're gonna use our holster real quick. Hang on. We grab our holster over here. We're actually gonna throw our throw her S and W Model 10 into the fucking holster to remember her. In her memory, chat. You guys like that, right? You guys like bullshit like that, meaningless crap? I have a bunch of flesh still that I should process. Hang on. Start a fire. Can I make this into lard? Yeah, let's make some lard. We're gonna turn the rest of this into rotten lard. And non-rotten lard. <laughs> Her fat will become lard. And somehow cracklins. Oh, lard makes cracklins at the same time. Some of it comes out in the cracklins. I forgot about that. Extinguish, and now we have lard. Psychopath gaming. Chat, it's not that psycho when you really think about it. Honestly, it's not that bad. Oh, I'm not wearing pants. I'm gonna wear a loincloth. Just realized I'm still not wearing pants. It's not that bad. In the grand scheme. Yes, it is. No one- Alright, explain to me why you wouldn't kill uh, a person with insane armor when they have no more real purpose in your base. Because they have, I don't know how to say this, chat. Their armor is good. And aside from putting on overpowered a sappy vest, 
It's the best we're going to get for a long time. All right? And they're not doing shit. RP purposes? I am RPing a fucking rat man <laughs> that kills people and eats them. Is it that psycho or is it my RP where I'm a cannibal? Look at my traits! This is her bad. She shouldn't have lived here with me. Go down the list. Hmm, okay, I'm looking at the fucking shopping list of problems with my roommate. Addictive personality. Badly deformed. Cannibal. Fast metabolism. Growling voice. Lactose intolerant. Light sensitive. How long have I been light sensitive for? That's not albino. Yeah, I lose one sunlight. I lose one stat in the sunlight. Fucking nausea. Constantly on the brink of vomiting. Rat-like muzzle. Retractable claws. Eat rotten flesh. Sleepy. And somehow still squeamish. She liked me? Big mistake then. On her part. Man, I'm a heavy boy though. Look at how heavy I am. I can only carry like 10 pounds of weight. I have to carry, I have to use the bike for pretty much everything. Look at how heavy this fucking thing is. Yeah, well, actually we don't need the fucking hacksaw. I can tell you that right now. We can take off that. That'll, that'll lose us some weight. Let's also activate it and get it out and leave it on the ground. So it's not accidentally in a different spot. All right, chat. Well, it's a nice midnight. I would like to go on another run. I'm going up here. All right, I'm gonna check this out. It's time. In the dead of night, I'm going into a weird zone that I can almost guarantee is like a custom zone. There's, you don't usually see perfect cube blocks like that. Look, look at the rest of the map. Look at how it's all shaped. And then look at this. It's genuinely a cube of forest. That's custom. There's stuff in there that's custom made. Is Psychopath still an RP when most of his RPs are psychopathic? Well, I don't RP um, ever, really. So I wouldn't say that. And I'm not RPing. I'm just a psycho. You guys are... R I'm RPing a sane person a lot of the time on stream. Say it like that. Alright? Because you have to be insane to want to handle a fucking Twitch stream. I'm going to be honest. Only fucking maniacs would want to do this for their full-time fucking job. I'm going to be real. This isn't a wholesome job. This is hell on earth. Alright? I'm just going to be real. All right, this is also where the lab is. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Humvee here. We're not going into this lab right now. I'm gonna do that later today. But uh, let it be known, we will have to go in here later today. Against my better judgment. Let's swing up north. All right, we're following this tree line as well as we can. Man, it's really smooth when you're right next to the tree line. Dang. It takes so long to save now, specifically because of the fire. Ah, uh, that's woods. Go back. Beep, 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 beep. I'm a little off. There we go. All right, we're almost to the entry road. I'm telling you, Chad, any second now we're gonna see something fucked up. This is gonna get fucked up. There's gonna be like a fucking like psycho on this road. Oh, chat, come on. Look at this place. Look at this. Look at, I haven't seen a fucking rural road like this in a long time. There's something off. There's something extremely off about all this. You'd have to be crazy not to believe it. Oh, yeah. Why do I hear fire? That's the sound of a bug sneaking up on you to get you and eat your brain. Because that's what bugs do. 
Maybe this is just a road to nowhere, though. You know, it could be. It would need to be daytime for me to see. Oh, stuff. Stuff. Get off the bike. Right. Right. Jack Isherwood and Claire Isherwood. Fresh meat, brothers! Sweet! Good shit! Howdy, neighbors! <laughs> Hello! I'm coming in. Hey! Pistol crossbow traits ugly. Dude, if he's ugly. Hey, howdy. Claire! Hi. Nice farm you have here. I live here with my husband, Jack. He's out in his he's out working in his shop at 1 a.m. in the dead of night in pitch black darkness. It must be nice to have a quiet place amid so much madness. We've always tried to live a quiet life out here. I suppose we're doing better than most. I I gotta ask you something else. Where's your brother's place? Your daughter lives down there. It's a whole family in here, Chad. There's a whole family living in this place. Lots of meat to eat on demand. Mm. Plenty of meat. So, uh, a farm must be pretty safe these days. We've always tried to live a quiet life out here. Okay, she's just saying, she's saying that. Where's your brother's place? Eddie's dairy is at the end of the road. He may have some jobs for you if you're interested. Eddie, down the road. Your daughter lives down the road too? Jesse and her family live up at the horse farm. They have some jobs for you. Everyone has jobs for me. And your husband, is he around? Jack and I have been together for 40 years. He's my anchor through all this chaos. I see, I see. Let's trade. Oh, that's actually a lot of stuff. Huh. Lots of food. Hey, uh, can I do anything for you? I have another job for you. Want to hear about it? Sure. I could use some fresh dandelions for the next batch of wine. Can you bring me 50 dandelions? Ah, oh, I'm busy. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Whatever, bye. Yeah, I'm busy. Hey. Hello, traveler. What brings you here? It's a lot of land. You've been here since the collapse? I live here with my wife. This is our family's land. My daughter's family and son live down the road. Your whole family survived. We've had our losses. Now we stay close to home, preparing for trouble. We've always taken disaster preparedness seriously, but I didn't expect it. I'm gonna burn this fuck fucking whole area to the ground, chat. That's the end of this arc. I'm gonna spoil it. I'm gonna burn their forest to the ground, and then them. I'm the trouble. <laughs> Asshole RP. The trouble's me. I'm the trouble. Kermit Pritchett, rat man. I'm more scathing than human. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Well, I'd like to talk about something else. Uh, what's trade? What do you have? Hacksaw, pickaxe, a sickle, welding goggles. Do you have an acetylene torch on you? No. Chat, we kill them because look at all the fucking sealed things they have. Look at all these jars. This is like enough food for me to live forever if I kill all them and then eat them. Anything I can do for you? He has a job. What does he want me to do? I could use three liter jars to preserve our produce. Can you bring me 20 large three liter jars? I'm not interested. Whatever, bye. Yeah, these people's jobs are a little bit uh, weenie, huh? What do you have in the basement, bud? Oh. Oh my god. There's a lot of fucking stuff in here. It's worth murdering these people for this much seasoning. It actually is. It's worth killing them. I thought I was gonna find like a like a cannibal basement. I was gonna be like brothers. 
But all I'm finding here is a ridiculous amount of cooking oil. I can't steal any of this, so they'll get mad at me. I'd have to murder them first. So what's in your boarded up fucking barn? Oh, just sheep. Man, why am I operating on the assumption this is like some... I'm sorry? That pig just fucking come at me? That pig fucking tried to get me. For a second. He smartened up when he realized how pissed I was, though. He, he smartened up right fucking quick when he saw me in my heavy armor. Well. This is a lovely fucking place. I'll give it that much. It's lovely. He's got... Nice drill presses, band saws, table saws, he's got hack saws, he's got pickaxes, he's got welding goggles, he's got more fucking produce. Chat, imagine this place, but I lived here. You know? Imagine how much nicer this place would be if I owned it. I mean, I'm not going to because my house is actually better and is, has road access and this place doesn't have road access, which makes it very unappealing. But just imagine if I burned it down in a fit of rage because I don't live here. And if I don't have it, no one can. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if I came back with 10 grenades and threw a grenade into that house and blew up Claire into a billion pieces and then murdered her husband whose weapon of choice is a longbow. And then I fucking, you know, proceeded to then hunt down their son and daughter and their families in a psychopathic rampage. You know? Let's keep exploring. Let's see what else is around here. This can't be the only area of town. Chat. Also, I think if I'm wearing these goggles, I don't discover as much. Hang on. Uh, take the goggles off for a minute. I think my guy struggles to identify stuff near him. Nah, he doesn't. It's fine. Goggles takes off one radius of sight for me, which is fine. For the protection it provides. Let's go this way. Let's see what's down this way. You see, we're looking for we're looking for dirt on these people that makes me want to kill them. All right, so I have like a like a motive that doesn't make people call me a psychopath. Hello? Oh, they got a horse farm. With the things open. Why do they have it like that? I could swear I heard footsteps, says Jesse Isherwood. Howdy, partner! I appear in the window. <laughs> Howdy! I'm coming in. Nice to meet you, Jesse. My name's Kermit Pritchett. I live here. In a place exactly like this. I'm a rat man. Hello, we don't see many people these days. Hi, Jack and Claire suggested I come down here and meet you. Oh good, I'm sure Jack wanted to put you to work. If you're interested, I could use a hand clearing out the woods. Clearing out the woods? What needs killing? What is it? There's been some wolves that have been scaring the chickens and horses. I'd be grateful if you'd kill them. I'd go kill wolves. I'll actually do that for you, Jesse. Now give me some of your equipment. Why should I share my, share my equipment with you? Give it to me or else. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I, I am helping you. Not a chance. And if you ask again, I'll send you to hell. Give me your fucking stuff. Won't happen, asshole. Give me your stuff. Won't happen. Go fuck yourself. Give it here. She has nothing to give me. Oh, okay, well. Could have said that from the beginning. Bye. He doesn't have anything. Why'd you lie then? Why didn't you just say I don't have anything instead of like a potentially getting in a fucking punching fight with me? <laughs> I got really heated. Just like do that. There's like wolves in the woods. I have to like do that. You know how much work that is? How scary that is? Wolves killed one of my guys. Howdy, brother. Lisa. Hello, what brings you here? Nice farm. Your family live here? My family owns all the lands here. My parents are out in the barn, and my other family is down the road. 
Okay. Do you have any jobs, kid? No, you don't. God, they all have like... They all have like bows, dude. I just come in with like an M60 and a gun. This is sad. I could bully these people so bad. I have grenades, dude. I look like a fucking vagrant, but in reality, I have ridiculous amounts of firepower at my house. <laughs> and I could very... Ooh, these, mu these multivitamins are free to steal. All right. I've stolen their vitamins, chat. Their vitamins are mine. What more dark deeds will I get to? I've stolen their flare and their flute. I've taken the music. And their aluminum can of chocolate drink. I I'm not actually taking that. Uh, that's uh, worthless to me. Well. Actually, all this stuff is stealable. I guess because these are default spawns in the house. Man, even the salt stealable. Thanks. Is everything here legal to steal? Food processor. Mine. Thanks, kid. You know, I guess this kid doesn't realize what I am doing, so they're probably just not getting angry. But yeah, I am gonna steal all their stuff if I'm not gonna get in trouble for it, for sure. Oh, for sure. All right, where's the guy? Where is he? Guess he's not around. Huh. Where's the man? Come on now! Be free! Be free! Okay. All right, let's keep going down the road for now. They don't know they're free. I know, it's sad. I don't like this captivity shit these people are doing. It's the apocalypse. We don't need to do that anymore. You know? We might go kill those wolves in the dead of night. I'm not really very confident in my ability to kill wolves in the woods. I mean, I guess I have an axe and a lot of armor. And I am pretty strong now. But if it's like a pack of like five, I could actually get in pretty big danger fighting them. Let's keep going down the road. Let's go to the... There's supposed to be a dairy farm down here. Jeez, dude, this fucking road sucks. There's like boulders everywhere. I wouldn't want to live here. There's boulders ever. These roads aren't usable. Isn't this supposed to be like a farm? Oh, here it is. Sorry. You know what farms have? Acetylene torches. I never go into the front door anymore. It's one of my rules. Howdy, brother. Eddie Isherwood. Nice dairy. Must be tough keeping it running. I've run this dairy farm with my son, Luke. It's been a tough job keeping the herd together. Hasn't left me a lot of time for other projects. So, um, what do you have on you? Baseball cap. Everyone just used bows here. They're so defenseless. Have anything to trade? Uh, what can I do for you? He has a job. You need 120 rocks to construct some kilns. Not interested. Whatever. Bye. Outdoor survival guide. Pocket survival guide. Their credit cards on the fucking desk like they're not worried about a psychopath breaking in and stealing all their stuff. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. This place is begging to be robbed by me. How much dairy are we talking in here? Wait. There's no dairy in these fucking dairy tanks. There's no cows in the cow thing. Oh, wait, there they are. Yeah, there are cars. There, there's cows. Man, what a fucking... What a place. It's all so... Normal. And, you know, that sort of fucking freaks me out a little bit, chat, because nothing's ever normal in the apocalypse. These people probably eat dolphins. They probably go out every day, walk fucking 40 miles to the ocean, or the river, and catch river dolphins, and then eat them. They are super normal, which is even weirder in the apocalypse, you know what I'm saying? Let's go this way, I wanna see, I wanna see if this is like clearing, or if I can get to these wolves without too much- What is this house? 
This isn't attached to a road. What the hell is this? There's zombies in this place. I thought this place was safe. It's a mansion. Wait a minute, mansions are epic. Hang on. Now I gotta... Okay, this boomer's causing a fucking... This guy's throwing a tantrum. I'm gonna have to kill him. Well, I'm doing him a favor now, I guess. Clearing out all these zombies for him. Usually I don't do this for free. Scourge zombie is incredibly close. Oh, I see him. Bonk. Nice. Okay, I have everything. I want to get to the front of this place because there's something at the front of this place that could be very good for me. And also, basement of the... Oh my fucking god. My boat, my crossbow's not loaded, which is why I wasn't able to shoot that guy. He's very good at hearing me. He's got good smell on him. Let's get rid of him. All right. We're looking for matches. Not gonna tell you guys why, but it is so I can fucking kill everyone in this entire area. Yoink. Zombies getting pretty close. Might need to get out my weapon. Yeah, let's get out. Let's get out the fucking axe. I should be using my axe more. It's, it's very important that I start getting better at, uh, you know, fighting with it. Melee is a very important thing, especially, like, you know, every every time you play the game. You should spend more time just slamming these guys, especially since my armor is so good now, not much is gonna be able to hurt me. Let's check the perimeter of this place. What the hell? That's a shrieker zombie. An elongated human body with a swollen chest and a gaping hole where its jaw used to be. We're gonna shoot that one. Before it shrieks. There's something off about this place, Chad. I don't trust these people. Who just lives happily in a t in like a fucking, you know... Village. No one. Everyone's got an angle. Everyone's got some weird stuff going on that they don't want to talk about. They probably eat dolphins. I'm just going to say it again. Very high likelihood we're, t we're dealing with a couple dolphin eaters right now. Finally, a challenge. Keep fighting. Keep fighting to the last man. I'll back up a little bit because I would like to get some of my stamina back. Let them come. Let them come! Ugh! All right. Pin Reamer, nothing really good in here. I mean, these are all trash zombies. What we're interested in is the lobby, and I'll show you why. There's a reason you go to mansions, chat. Let me enlighten you. Oh, this is, a, this is a stupid bitch mansion. No. Wait. No, no. God damn it. You're telling me there's no armor in here? Sometimes these places have swords and like halberds and like good armor. Like plate mail. I'll have to check the second. We gotta loot this whole place now to look for it. It's like a weird layout one. Shovels. I mean, it's like a custom one made by whoever made this area, probably. This whole like grid of maps. So at this point, we could be dealing with pretty much anything. So let's clear it out of all zombies. Get some training in while we're at it. Hey, shit! God, I've gotten strong. I mean, it's the armor. Honestly, most of the time in this game chat, you can sort of jam on anything in the entire game if your armor is good enough. That's like the rule. Armor is more important than almost everything in this entire fucking game at the end of the day. You get good protection. You can just sort of clown on everything. And there's nothing they can really do to stop you. Because they can't, they can't hit you. And that means you don't lose any stats from pain. 
Oh, this is a library. I want to check this. I need... We already have History of Alchemy. I need... A tailoring book. I'll take Biodiesel. I'll also take the First Responder Handbook. Oh, so the child... Yes! So what clothing? All right, there we go. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> no fucking way. All right, uh, we got endgame fabrication books. Uh, <laughs> wow, yeah, this was this was worth it for that. All right, this is a, this is officially a good expedition all around. Uh, let's bring this back to the bike, and then we'll clear the rest of this place out. We are gonna loot this mansion. God, he's throwing a real fucking tantrum. Happy now? Alright, so uh, we won't be able to actually read any of these until we get back home. But uh, it is good. Hang on. Don't get rid of this yet. I should be able to put the Halligan bar on the firefighter. Fi there we go. Firefighter belt, Halligan. Marble. Big book of short stories. Imagine getting a book that makes you happy when you could instead eat human flesh to feel better about the dismal state of your current condition. You know? We'll take the scarf for the winter. The cleansing flame, I already grabbed that. Pets! I don't do pants anymore, dude. I tell you I do pants, but I do not do pants anymore. We're, we're off pants. We're wearing like a full survivor jumpsuit right now, which is why I don't need pants anymore. I fucking eat shit. Multi-tool? That's good. That's real good. Yeah, that's good. Antibiotics? That's also good. Uh, let's unload the battery from... Not that. Game system. No, I do have a lighter, and that means I'm probably going to burn all the NPCs' houses to the ground before I leave tonight. This game is going to break. I'm going to break my fucking game. That's how my Cataclysm playthrough ends, chat. I break my game because I fucking burn everything to the ground, and then everything just lags, and the game breaks completely, and I die. I really should wait for the other fire to go out before I burn this place to the ground. With everyone inside their houses. Because I boarded them into their houses with uh, planks. I'm gonna do that, by the way. When I get rid of these ones, they're not getting out the same way those fucking bandits did. I'm gonna nail them into their houses with, like, boarded up planks. Oh no, the dev is here? Which dev? The guy who made- the guy who made- Hey, Tomato, heard you killed my NPC. Look, dude. Your NPC was fine and all, but what was a lot more fine was her armor. <laughs> that was- at a certain point, I had to weigh which part I wanted more. The presence of the NPC or the clothes on her back. I chose the clothes. So currently, I gave her that so she would live. Oh. Hey, well, against anyone other than a full night vision rat man, she probably would have put up a fight. But against me, all I had to do to beat her was position her... Right about there, on some silos, and shoot her about 20 times with a crossbow. She took 20 shots before she died, though, I'll tell you that much. She took a good amount of punishment. But alas, it did not save her. I get to keep her mark, though. Mark of the seer is mine forever. This is a secret room, by the way. <laughs> to master the unknown. Fellow scaly brethren, tonight we feast on the hairless apes. All right, chat, there's something very suspicious in this metal section, but I do not have my pickaxe with me, so we'll have to come back. I don't think I'm going to be able to break this down, even with a halligan. Yeah, now we're going to need to get my pickaxe and mine through this later. Let's label that.
at the mine through that door. There's one in the houses, yes, but I have to steal that. I don't want to make these NPCs mad yet because I can't position them all on silos. Also, to the dev of uh, whoever made whoever made Bridget, uh, she was very good at not falling off of the silo. Originally, I took her up there because I planned on pushing her off. So at least, fortunately, she was able to fight back against the most basic way I planned on killing her, which was shoving her very hard from a four-story building. So there's that, at least. Can I get this? She made it out of that. All right, let's go to the second floor. We might get the good armor from here. A lot of people up here. Let's see if any of them can get through my armor. Nope, they can't. This is why I killed the chat! <laughs> Look how good my armor is! No one hit me! Times have changed, Chad! Hang on. To catch my breath. Round two, motherfucker, let's dance! Stolen armor. I'm gonna feel real bad when, this, when these break. But that's eons from now. This is heavy armor. The survivor backpack will break soon, but that's the thing I care the least about of the collection. I just wanted the heavy suit. But I, ha I would have had to have given Bridget, like, a banana to, like, convince her that it was m worth trading the suit for. Because her, like, entire concept of bartering was fucked. Like, all NPCs, she was like, this looks like a really valuable metal pipe. Yeah, it's about as valuable as that incredibly high quality, uh... Survivor suit you're wearing that can defend against almost any zombie claw in the game. Yes, I will trade for it. Yes, we will do a trade. Nothing. I can't believe I'm not getting. Dude, I can't believe this mansion lacks the one thing all mansions legally have to have in Cataclysm, which is. Ah, yes. <laughs> Perhaps I spoke too soon. The armor of a knight. One moment, wait. Come! If you dare. All right, here we have an ornamental plate armor, which is 20 bash, 20 cut resistance, encumbrance 45 because it does not fit properly. It's worth seven thousand eight hundred dollars. We have a great helm. Uh, which is also huge protection, but it obscures my vision, and I won't be able to. I actually cannot wear that. I don't think my rat helmet. I don't think my rat hat can fit that. Yeah, no, my rat-like muzzle prevents me from putting on the great helm. No rat, knight. But then this, a fake Sheila, Sh Shilila, Shilila. Shalila, is that how it's pronounced? Mass produced by a souvenir shop for tourists. Oh, it's not a real one. Well, I can technically craft these into some pretty wacky weapons later. So, uh... I am wearing... I am wearing armor. I'm wearing ornamental super armor on top of my fucking... Yeah, Chad, I'm currently wearing ornamental armor over my heavy survivor armor. I'm now going to walk into a room with a zombie and just see if they can even hurt my body. Hello? 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 I'm overweight, like I'm so heavy. I shouldn't even, I should really just take this downstairs and drop this off. But this isn't, this is not how I want to die. This is how a character dies. They all ran. <laughs> Dude, imagine in a survival apocalypse scenario, you're just fucking like living your life, trying to survive. And you come to a mansion one day and out comes a fully dressed in ornamental armor knight. The, draw, the zombie tries to grab you, but you break its grab. Yeah, this thing's not even going to be getting... Look at this. Look at the fucking... Look at the feed right now. Huh? What? At a certain point, protection trumps everything in the game. Only thing you gotta worry about is stamina, which is why you close doors behind you and regen. 
Does this waste durability? Sometimes, yes, but simultaneously not really because, a, like, think about it, chat. You think a fucking human slapping and clawing at plate armor is going to hurt it? When you slap metal, does that destroy the metal? Yeah, no, against zombies, these guys aren't going to do shit to me anymore. Like, this basically makes zombies a trivial part of the game. Now, acid zombies. If I went into a room and there was an acid zombie, I would freak out. Because I'd probably be dead. But fortunately, right now, we're not dealing with those. We're dealing with idiots. But, with that in mind... Yoink. Still don't want to get stamina. Fuck, so... We're gonna go ahead and bring these back and drop off the uh, armor now before my stamina results in my death. Actually, it wouldn't result in my death. It would just be the most awkward 20 minutes of catching my breath in the entire existence of the game. Because the zombies wouldn't be able to hurt me, but I also wouldn't be able to swing my weapon anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and swing this down to the uh, bike. Put the armor in the box. So I can walk again. Get all these lighters. I am quite happy to see um, these books, though. All these books I've been getting are great. Very good. All right, that lightens me back down to only sort of high encumbrance, which is fine for my character. See, what I'm listening for is that there's anything in there. I'm going to assume there's an Eldritch monster in there, considering... The survivor note out front of it makes me think there's probably a arcana monster in there. Most likely because it didn't make a sound surrounded by uh, candles, which means it can't move from its spot and it's probably an easy kill. Hey. What is that, blood guy? Little bitch! What are you making? Little blood things? Little bitch. This guy doesn't even fight. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Help. Help. He's just gonna despawn in a second, really sad like, dude. Ah. Give me that jerky. Wait a minute, is this hallucinogenic drugs? I eat one. When you're this strong, chat, let's liven things up, baby. I take the drug. Everything we see now has a chance to not be real. Hang on. There's still more over there. Okay. We may also just not see anything. Aren't you an addict? Yeah, but like, I'm only taking one. And besides, I also have substance tolerance. And also, addictions only matter in early game when you don't have a billion resources to punish your character by locking him in a room for four days straight. Which is what I do. Calcium tablet, I actually do want to take that. And this multivitamin. Besides, I want to have a, I want to see a toaster chase me, you know, or a dinosaur appear in the room, and I say that has to be a hallucination, and then the dinosaur gets me, and it wasn't an hallucination, and I get killed. Hey, pathetic. You're nothing to me. All right. The basement's where we're gonna get the good stuff. Most likely. Lessons for the novice bow hunter. We already have that. Mystery novel. Hey. I'm not even getting any fucking hallucinations. What is this weak ass drug? This isn't doing shit for my brain. Am I, I need to see. Uh, where's my. Where's my. Is this. Did this pick tabs not even work? Someone tell me if I get, like, a hallucination in my, like, text. Hello? 
Man, for one zombie, you're loud as shit, huh? Hang on. Get some stamina back. All these guys desperately try to break down the door. You guys like this jam? All right, that's enough. <laughs> what are these things? This is good shit for me. Where's my, where's my hallucinations? Ooh. I'm supposed to be tripping right now. I'm not taking it another. I, I actually don't want to get fucked and like, Get some fucking awful addiction. <laughs> the hell's this? About? Weird when weird room that doesn't. I guess like a two-story room downstairs. All right, so just like the bottom, just like the second floor. Well, the first floor we we're on. We need to make sure we check any like spots that like have clear space where there should be a room, where there isn't a room for some reason on like this floor and the basement when we get down there because in mansions that usually means super room with like a surprise item and a monster but that's the second floor done to the basement still not hallucinating much at all hey blade zombie yeah that's a cute blade goodbye Yep. We're gonna get a lot of stuff in here. Talking doll. Activate it. Om nom nom delicious. What do you mean? What does that mean? Hee <laughs> hee. Time to play. All right. You fucking creepy little shit. We're skipping that. We're getting away from that thing. Sewage room's jumper cable. I'll take that. I don't have a jumper cable yet. Cotton hats. Funnels. Knit scarf. Winter gloves. Plastic bags. I think I desperately need. Hey. Lying body. I still know, all I know about these things is that eventually if I let them hang out here, they'd eventually evolve into something weird. All right? So it's in my best interest to kill these things before they do that. It takes about 12 days, I think, for them to evolve into new things. And so if I like, if one spawns and I let it hang out, it's gonna make a problem later. Codeine. Wow, it's a lot of chocolate and potato chips. I honestly don't need this though. That's the thing. That's not ideal. Okay, so that's a bloated zombie and a zombie defiler. Yeah, we're gonna need to kill these things at a range. So let's run now. Close this door and pull out the crossbow. Get our stamina back. All these guys start breaking down that door. Hey. My axe is gonna break soon. I just gotta like get into this room so I can rest for a minute. Okay. God, you're so fucking stupid. Come on. Okay. I need those guys in the long hallway so I can kill them. There they are. Alright, we're good now. We can get rid of these guys. We, if we shoot one, the other one should just explode automatically at the same time. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's still got juice in him. Okay, it doesn't look like he's strong enough to break down doors, though, so I'm gonna reload now. Yeah, he cannot hit doors. 
We didn't really do anything, huh, this one? Sort of sad, the zombie defiler. I was expecting him to, like... Oh, that's the poison guy. Where the fuck did he... I can't see him in the fucking sh clouds. I know he's there. Because that's the center of the, like, cloud. Maybe I just shoot a... Maybe I just shoot it anyways. Nope. This lane? Nope. Motherfucker's just clogging the hallway. I can't get in that way, though. Until that guy moves. Use pistol won't be the difference. It's not that I can't hit him, it's that I can't see him. Break a leg, another talking doll. Hey. Just trying to get some hits in with the crossbow for practice. All right. Nothing. Oh, I might actually take that though. Just so I don't pass out. I am a sleepy character. I don't really want to be passing out until I get back home, so. Be best if I don't start losing stat points for it. I guess we'll just ignore that poison guy for now. Limestone shards. Eh. I already know what I'm looking for. Another shopping cart? There's not much down here, actually, right now. <laughs> Fuck you. We're looking for another hidden door. Looking for another, like, secret room. Oh, there we go. That's an angle. There we go. There might be a second one, though. Yeah, that's spreading still. There's another zombie in there. It would be dissipating by now. Oh, no, there it goes. It was just a lot. There's just a lot of cloud. Double barrel shotgun. Funnels. This is a weirdly shaped basement, actually. But what's the secret of the basement? Might be right there. But there's no doorway. Which makes you think that's not the case. There's always a hidden room, chat. Never let them fool you. Always. Always! There's always one. That's a vortex. Yeah, that's... that. That's the room. <laughs> there it is. Found it. Okay. We're leaving. You don't fight a vortex. But I did call it. We'll be back. In two to four business weeks. What do you mean a vortex? I mean a spinning whirlpool of, like... Like a black hole that's angry at you. So we run from that. We get out of there. We'll be back in four to five weeks. But what I will do, chat, is go get a pickaxe and break down that door. When this, we're gonna go do that. Then we can go to the lab, too, and get that one. And while I'm at it... Actually, I could go get the wolves. But I'd probably go down to the, um, apple orchard to do that. I wouldn't do it from this side. Ow! Oh. I think it's time to head back. We got a lot of books. I think we hit the road. Get back out and out of town. Maybe burn down one of their houses while we're here. We could do it. We only want the jobs from some of them. And I bet these NPCs wouldn't even know if one of their family members was killed by me. Chat. I bet they wouldn't even know if, like, someone down the road was murdered by me. I bet they wouldn't get the memo. I could do it. I could get away with it. 
We'll do it later. I will come. I will come back here, and I will. I will destroy them. Ow! I'm, a, I'm doing it because their roads suck. This is ridiculous. No one should have to live like this. Imagine having such shitty fucking roads. Like, have some fucking... Have some... Wh where's your di Where's your goddamn self-respect? You know? Let's go up here while the sun's still set. See what's up over... Up on this road. That we haven't checked. Hope it's not a turret. What's that sound? It's like a radio. This might be... This might be something dicey. Hello? Heard like static. Oh, big truck. And some sort of fenced in area. Well, the truck wheels are all totally destroyed and also sideways. So that truck's not doing much of anything. Oh, it's another. Man, what are they mass produce these houses? It's my house again. Mass produce these farms, dude. Lots of ranches. Guess I could see if there's an actual uh, saddle in this one. Sometimes these places actually have saddles. Mine did not have one. So I'm not able to ride my horse yet. Even though riding horses is a fucking insane amount of bullshit. Here we go, horse deck. Nice. All right. Good. We don't have these at my farm, I don't think. Yep. Back on the road again, brother. I think the fastest way is just to get back towards uh, the border there. I also never checked that forest. We're going to have to come back over there during the day. Cause like that that green fucking forest is like a danger zone. That means there's probably magicalism stuff there. Dog friends. Green a, a different colored forest icon means bad. Dead body. How rotted. Rotted as hell. God damn it. Who? I should kill this. That's fucking That's blob globs. Come here, motherfucker. Yes. Does that mean there's a slime pit near here? No, that one. There has to be. There has to be. There has to be a slime pit near here. Well, that slime came out of a portal also near here. One or the other. This fucking bike. I can't believe the ignition on my bike that doesn't have a battery and also isn't electric constantly stalls when I try to turn it on. It's really agonizingly annoying, chat. This dang, this ding dang thing's always stalling my fucking bike. That doesn't have an engine. And uses pedals. I guess I should peek in here quick and see what I'm gonna need for this, because we do want to do this lab today. So this is just a card reader. We're gonna pickaxe it, I think. I don't think it'll actually read my science card. Bit nervous about going down there, considering I'm pretty sure it's going to result in zombies spawning in my house, but whatever. How much ammo was in that? A yeah, decent amount. Probably pack our gun for this. We'll also pack our gun to clear out those farmers and bring all their dead bodies back home to make into jerky for the winter. Gotta take whatever wins I can get, chat. Oh, do I want to do the wolves quick? I'll take a peek at the forest where the wolves are. They might not even attack me on sight. I am incredibly well armored. 
I'd rather do it during the day, though. What am I, coward? What am I, scared of wolves? Besides, I probably have better night vision than they do. Does he still have... Have I been hallucinating? Wait, does he have schizophrenia? Have I been hallucinating? Your guy makes engine sounds. No, that's not a hallucination. That's... That's the sad reality of my current hellish life. There should be wolves around here. They're basically right on top of me. I see a bat. That's not a wolf. There they are. Well, here's one. Okay, that thing is very good at avoiding me, but it also can't fucking hit me because I have perfect armor. So I'm going to walk this guy back a little bit away from the others and I'm going to give this the old really slow whittle down, friend. Really? Today? Of all days? Well, good news is you're slower than the wolf and me are, so I'll just... Come on, Wolf Chan. You're gonna be food for me tonight. I'm gonna cut you all the way back to my bike. You're gonna hop on my bike with me. You're gonna keep on trying to eat me to no avail. He's about to bake the backpack! At least let me get back to the fucking bike before you break the worthless part of my... Oh, you dick. <laughs> oh... U.S. <laughs> Fine. Unfortunately, the backpack was the part I did not care about. That was already that was already somewhat fucked. And most of the time, at this point in the game, you carry very small amounts of stuff on you, and then you store the rest in a bike. Because I have this bike, I don't need to be carrying ridiculous amounts of gear on me anymore. Hup. Yep. Let's just pull the bike over to the pile. Actually, we can just drag the pile. All right. Oh, my crossbow's in there. All right, where's that stone golem? I probably don't want to fight him in melee, but I also don't want to get into like a fucking encounter. The good news is at least I know I can take the wolves. They literally can't hurt me. Wait, was that all of them? That was it. She considers that enough. I'm gonna fast travel to her quick. You hear mechanical whirring. Auto cancel auto move? No. Whatever you do, don't cancel the auto move. I think we're being chased by the golem. The sun rises. What's that sound? Says Carlos. I guess I could check the forest while I'm here now. Just go back for my bike in a little bit. Hey, I'm back. I murdered that wolf. Crafty Crafters Quarterly. I want that. Oh, hey. You're Carlos. Hi, looks like you're building a forge setup. It's coming together. I want to make our own tools, repair items, even create some weapons and ammunition. What do you need? He's got a job for me. He could really use an anvil. Ah, I'm busy, bud. I'm busy making my own anvil. Rockforge? Can he not get in trouble for deconstructing his rockforge like an asshole? Hmm. Just tried to smash it. Where's your... Where's the girl? Oh, she's here. Isn't she? Where the hell is she? Oh, that's a horse. Sorry, bud. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to swing at that horse. Jesse's in here. Jesse. Ha! Hey. Got the wolf. It's dead. She gave me horse tech. 
Glad to help. Is there anything else you need? We could use someone to help killing a pack of monsters. I don't know what they are, but they're fast. I'm willing to outfit you with a horse if you succeed. I already have that. Give me more of your... Give me stuff. She has nothing to give. God, you... Worthless. Where's this one at? It's a monster they don't know. They don't understand what it is. But it's up there. I mean, I'm gonna go here quick. Against my better judgment. Okay, my guy just tried to dive into deep water. Like an asshole. So that sort of describes how we're doing right now. Pike spot. Alright. So, that's a lake. I want to know what this forest is. Because this is like a fancy one. Good news is there's a lake so I can get a good view of it without actually going to the thing. That's like spooky. What, uh, what is this? I see a moose like... I'm getting updates of moose activity. It's just a fucked up house. There's something off about this place, Chad. I don't trust these fucking people. Whatever, I gotta get to my bike. Let's hit the road. I'm that moose is not gonna come after me. We're actually, I think, running for the moose. No, we're okay. Alright. Hit the road. Let's go get to my stuff. Now drop off everything, cook some food, and get some water and everything, and then go to sleep. Because remember, we're night people. We don't like the sun. The sun, we're sensitive to sunlight. For me, the sun is a minor inconvenience that actively lowers my stats. If it's sunny out. So we don't... We don't engage in sun activities, chat. We're, we're night people. We live in the gray. I'm not afraid... If la famous last words, I'm not afraid of that moose. Chat. I say that literally as in, my armor is so good, I'm not afraid of that moose. Because <laughs> you just think about moose, chat. Moose is scary to early game boys because they have no armor and their skills suck. But me, a guy with armor and an axe, uh, that moose isn't going to dodge many of my hits. I'm going to hit him for 50 on the first swing, and then he's going to crumple like a bag of bricks. And then I just have to worry about hauling his dead corpse back to my house to make another 500 jerky that I'm never going to finish. That's how I got all my jerky, dude. It's all moose meat. I killed a moose with my axe a little while ago. Without armor on. Just because I wanted to. Oh, oops, did I just transfer everything into the bike again? Now, sort of. Yeah, that's nice. Let's see what this. Let's see what these books get us. Hey, I'm home. Oh. Eating for one tonight. Yep. Could make some pemmican. With all the lard and smoked food and shit I have, that would keep forever. Yeah. You still got that Bridget Worst? True. We got a lot of feet, like food to eat, dude. We got a lot of stuff here. Including a billion mustard. We did protein rations, dude. Well, what I was was thirsty, so I'm gonna do that quick. Look at all this. Look at all these things we can make. Look at all this, all this power. Behold, and it's not even that we're not done. All right, Chad, because we just got some new books. Crafty craft, crafters, cordon. Done. Worthless to me. Actually worthless. Basically meaningless. Art of fucking, like, science chemical warfare. That one, alright, that one's gonna provide me with some stupid shit. 
We also got a crucible out of that. That's true. Where is that, anyways? Should be in here. Yeah, crucible. So we no longer need a crucible. So now I should be able to actually craft an anvil. Yeah, we have the crucible, so I need to... I'll have to make a can forge or a charcoal forge. Which isn't that crazy. Both of those are doable. And then I'll just need a bunch of fucking steel. We can get heavy duty frames by dismantling any of the, um... Big... Actually, we can get heavy duty frames possibly out of the truck we parked out front of our house. So that should be doable as well. And once we have that, we can start fabricating ridiculous things. And we should be fast-tracked all the way to 10 fabrication. Did I already sort all this stuff? I think I'm like overweight and I can't read any of this stuff because I'm like too heavy. Yeah. Let me ditch everything in my inventory quick. Pink tab didn't do shit. I've never been so disappointed by drugs. What is this? Oh, these are my books. Those are my maps I need. All right, biodiesel. That's gonna get our mechanics to six. That's awesome. That is awesome, awesome. That is so good, and we are going to need to do that before the next stream of this game. Because that's gonna be what's... Essentially, chat, by the time I start my stream next time, I'm gonna have a nice vehicle, and we're gonna have probably mobile base setup done. I would rather not do it on stream because it's very time consuming, and it's like most of a stream would be making a vehicle, but ideally by the next time I'm gonna have a vehicle done and functional. Friendly humane fashion, that's good. We don't even have one tailoring, so that's sorta of sucky still, but we're gonna get there. Cause we got so what clothing, which should teach me up to tailoring three, yes. Okay, so that means we can now get tailoring up to like five. All right. But there's, but wait, there's more. Actually, hang on. I'm put on one of my molly packs that's barely functional. All right. First responder handbook, first aid to six. We want that. Lessons of the novice bow hunter. Never using that, but it's cool to have. Oaths of the chalice, arcana to five. Sanguine codec, arcana to three. We already have one that takes our arcana to three. History of alchemy. So technically we can get our arcana to like five or no, probably like eight or nine with that which is great and we also have master of the unknown which means i think that gets us all the way to nine yeah but this is the good good one chat we can literally start reading it now okay we're not gonna but we have art of japanese armor making which is gonna let us literally make samurai armor that's what's in that book all right take a look kabuto that's right. And make fucking real samurai armor. It's gonna be pretty good stuff. And this right here is gonna let us start making spells. This book. This will actually get my arcana to 10. So chat, literally by the next stream, I could also have maximum arcana. Uh, leveling arcana is fucking terrible because it fucks your morale super bad. But I could have full magic power too. I could get into Arcana, which would be pretty fun for the next stream. So yeah, next stream is going to be like, I'm going to be max tens on a lot of my skills. I have enough food and water to do it. I have the armor to protect myself from later game mutations as well. Yeah. We'd be pretty Gucci on that, I think. I think we'd be good. I found an atomic car in Tomatoes World. Yeah, my car game has been a little bit of a bummer, but... We're doing all right, all things considered. Yeah, I mean, we got full, we got pretty high tailoring we can do now. We got high, we got 10 fabrication. Mechanics can get up there too. Also, we have the weapons of Asgard and beyond. So when I get my fabrication to eight, hang on, what does that book even teach me? Where's weapons of Asgard? What is this? What's in this? Mjolnir. Of course it is. Chat, I can naturally, of course, once I've... Uh, master Japanese armor making proceed immediately to making Mjolnir uh, the heavenly hammer
We could. All I have to do is read for about a thousand years. You guys don't want to see fucking fabrication training. You really don't want to see that on stream, which is why I'm going to save reading for off stream. We got other stuff to do on stream today. I, I do not do reading streams, all right? That's not fun. The only reading I might do is entry level, level tailoring because uh, I have some time today before I want to go to sleep. And that'll let me start repairing my molly packs. And I needed to read some so I could get the water out of my system so that I could eat right now. So that's all the reading I'm doing today. Let's get my tailoring up to one. Make pants? Chad, I don't need pants. I don't need them. Look around you. Do I look like I need pants? Who's gonna judge me for not wearing pants? Chat? Honestly. No one. You wanna know why? Because everyone's dead. Because I killed them all. I need to cook all this stuff, don't I? Hang on. We need to cook all this wolf meat before I accidentally eat it. Let's make some more brats. Ignore the coughing, that just means I'm like powerful. My lungs are training. My lungs are training. Haggis. You like to do the stuff that's higher because it's usually better. Can make some more brat. Bratwurst uh, with some Italian seasoning. We'll use the seasoned salt. Well, time to eat about 80,000 bratwursts. Yep. This is, how, this is how cataclysm food goes. And then you wonder why my character says he doesn't feel good when he wakes up in the morning. I've eaten about 30 bratwursts now and I'm still not full. That's 40 bratwursts now. I've intaken about 5,000 calories. Yep, that's a that's a that's a meal, all right. That's a meal. Now let's um, let's get on. Uh, let's turn off this fire. And uh, get some sleep. It's 3 p.m. We'll wake up at 10 p.m. Go with the pickaxe out to our destinations. 52 bratwursts. I'm a growing boy, Chad. I'm a big boy and I gotta grow. I'm not fucking. I'm not a baby. I gotta get big. Besides, I think I have a fast metabolism. Right? Yeah, I have to eat even more than you guys think I do. Because I got fa I got rat body. I have a rat body and it needs sustenance constantly. I'm growing. I am overweight, but you know. I'm also very hungry and thirsty right now, so fuck you. Eat the rest of this bratwurst. It's gonna go bad in two days. Yes. What does growling voice do? It basically makes it so guys, people like humans, won't be as inclined to be nice to me because they think I'm scary. But I'm not scary. I do need to switch my wood axe though for a different weapon, otherwise known as wood axe two. The sequel. All right, let's grab the pickaxe. Let's go to that fucking godforsaken science lab chat this time. Hang on. We have antiseptics. I'm gonna grab some bandages before we do this. And let's also make... Hang on. I want to make a sling for my... Weapon quick. My, uh, my gun. Mods. For shoulder strap. There we go. What if this works with a crossbow? Used on bow. No, this says if it uses a crossbow. Put a forward grip on it. Yeah, we're just gonna make a sling. Shoulder strap. Because. We. I'm gonna be bringing my gun anyways for this. Just in case stuff gets dicey. I'll unload all this. Real quick. 
That was an L stick. I don't know. I don't. I don't care. I should also unload all these fucking things that have batteries in them. Cause right now they are just. Yeah, let's do this quick. Anything that's loaded and has batteries in them right now. Aside from that. Radio, flashlights, all of it, all of it, all of it. There we go, that's most of it. Hey, anyway. so how much ammo am I sitting on? I've got 28 NATO, bunch of M80, that's not actually for my gun. I think that leaves me at like fucking 80 NATO rounds after that, after this. Yeah. We should have like 80 NATO rounds. Right? Here's the IAR I use. Yeah, we got about 80 NATO rounds. Let's load these. And let's activate it. Oh, I gotta unload it. Hang on, so I can... Actually, no, I don't. I don't know where my sling is. Shoulder strap. Give it to me. I do need to unload it. Okay. Alright. Now. We have 90 rounds of ammo. We have a fucking... We got our crossbow. We have our gun. We have our... We have everything we need. To fucking bully... The scientists in that lab, and we are going down there specifically for one reason and one reason only. All right, chat? We want their brains, their brain power. We're digging our way in. We're gonna go down there and probably die because that place is fucking incredibly overtuned and stupid. Turret time? I don't think there's gonna be turrets in there, chat. Last I recall, there aren't turrets in that one. At least not at the entrance. And I think I can take one turret bullet with my armor now. I don't think I'll instantly die from turrets now. I hope not. But we shouldn't see any breaking in. Dinosaurs time. No, no, we're not gonna see any dinosaurs. Dinosaurs aren't real. I haven't seen, even though, even with Dino Mod installed, I've never seen a dinosaur. They aren't, they don't exist. That mod's a scam. Such things as mini nuke hacks. Don't talk about the mini nuke hack. That's up there with C4 hack. We don't, uh, we don't talk about mini nuke hack. Alright, safest way to break this open is from here. In case there is a turret. All right, here we fucking go. Get ready for a dumbass piece of shit time. If this teleports me into zombies and I'm not next to the elevator and I somehow die, I am safe scumming. For the record, because this place is buggy. Oh, we're okay. All right, we're fine. Welcome to Science Lab. Now, if any zombies get too close to this, these elevator controls, which I can take back up, uh, I think they will be teleported into my house and start thrashing my house. Uh, so robots are currently killing uh, zombies in the other room. We're looking for scientists. We've never been in a lab on stream, I don't think, before, actually. There's some there. And some security guards. And some man hacks that are fleeing. I don't want to shoot my gun just yet. Who just shot something at me? Acid support zombie. Oh, yeah. Is that where we're at? That's an acid support zombie. He's, shooting, he's firing acid at me. I take the elevator upstairs. I pull out my gun! 
No, I didn't bring a towel. Good news is he didn't get any acid on me. I hope he's not in my house. Should probably go back and get a towel then. If that's even... If that's even acid, that might be fucking... Chat, that might be bullets. I didn't get a good look at his, I, his ID. But if I get a towel, I'll be okay. You forgot your crossbow bolts? Well, I mean, I have 90 rounds of actual ammo. The crossbow is more of like a... Honestly, I don't even need to pack it, if I'm being honest. I'm just going to leave it for this. I don't think I'm going to use it. It's just weighing me down. Ow! Fucking shitty bike. Yeah, that fence fucked. All right, and where's my towel? Get some towels. All right. My acid resistance is pretty good. I know that, but like, I mean, we're just after the science, like those scientist zombies are what we were after, that guy I killed. That one guy in the lab coat drops what I'm looking for. We're basically looking for one to drop any lab report. If they drop any lab report, that gives me access to mutagens. That teaches me the recipe for mutagens. Which means I will be able to become an ascended god. Much like the rat, but even more powerful and even more handsome. Because I'm definitely going to need to get rid of this deformed perk. Is this game as complicated as it looks? It's not actually that complicated once you've learned the controls. I don't think. Thank God I've been playing it forever, so. Good news is there's no one in the house, which is nice. Let's do this. Oh, this is still silenced, huh? God! Fucking hell. I need to fucking shoot. There we go. Alright, we're fine. We got him. He never hit me, actually. Uh, I'm gonna try to use the towel anyways. You already dried. The towel does nothing. Okay, good. I don't know what he was doing then, because he never hit me. I'm actually glad I brought this thing silenced. Oh, no. It's him. Zombie mechanic. What are you? He did the thing I was worried he would do. He ripped my weapon out of my hand. These guys are assholes. All right, what he just did, chat? He just used a CBM that he has to grab magnetically my gun out of my fucking hands. Because he can do that because he's magic. Give me this back, asshole. But yeah, we're basically gonna stand at the exit of this place and kill anything that turns the corners for a while. And it's basically pulp it. And look for, uh, stuff that looks important. Like blob globs, Prussian blue tablets. Casually make sure I'm not soaking radiation. I'm not. Hacksaws, not important. We wanna, we wanna pulp this guy and hope we don't get acid on us. We did not, that's good. Ooh, another pistol. Actually, wait, no, that's not a pistol. It's a rifle. And a high quality rifle too, with a lot of mods on it. I'll take that. A lot of MREs. Yeah, these places, the zombies here do drop decent stuff. It's just like more of the process of safely getting the stuff. What mods did this, hang on. Unload and activate. What mods did it have? Rifle scope, bipod, suppressor. Hold up. And an adjustable stock. In that case, uh, let's unload this. And see if I can apply any of these to the IAR. I might be able to. I might be able to hook this in. I gotta take this off. 
Let's go upstairs to do this. Let's not do this in there. What's your opinion on the graphic dwarf fortress? What do you mean? Like the new tile set they're making? No opinion until it's out, but I'll probably won't be playing it on stream until then. Okay, let's see if I can put the real suppressor on this. I can. Let's see if I can put a rifle scope on this. I can. Let's see if I can put the bipod on this. I can. Let's see if I can put the adjustable stock on this. I can. Well, chat. That's a plus five M27 IAR. With enhanced power. Hell, I wouldn't be shocked how much how much range does this thing have now. Thirty six fucking blocks. Look at this. Actually, I'd have to like go outside to show you how far range this goes. You can't even see it, but it goes about double what the circle I have right now goes. Streamer man, why is the area around you in grayscale? It's the dead of night. If I go back downstairs, we'll be back to normal. I've got enhanced night vision, so for me, the night is my like element. Also, I wish that the darkness in these areas wasn't so scuffed. Because, like, I should have been able to see that person. So I guess it's not really scuffed. It's like the like your eyes haven't adjusted to actual darkness in the room. So you can't see stuff in here unless you... Like, while you're in, like, advanced sunlight. 101 crafts for beginners. Water survival training manual and the modern trapper. Those are both good. And a shit ton of chemicals. I'm glad that we're at the air, like the point where we can actually do these labs without being woefully underprepared for it. Man hack? Just normal, right? Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Sad. We gotta dump a bunch of stuff in my bike, actually. Real quick. Okay. We don't want this. We don't want the pickaxe anymore, actually, for now, at least. That's weighing me down. Uh, we don't need the Prussian blue tablets. I mean, we're gonna be carrying- we're gonna have to ferry stuff fairly regularly. We don't have a lot of carry weight. Ah, see, I'm not even really interested in carrying this molly pack on me while I'm clearing. But I'm gonna hang on to it for now. Car buyer's guide, guns and ammo, comic book. Please? Every time I see a fucking scientist, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be like frothing at the mouth hoping that maybe they'll hook me up with something I really need. Dissecting microscope. That's a tool. Just take- if you wanna like be safe, just take anything that says tool in a science lab for now. Like not all of it actually has an application this early, but it's worth taking. Just to have it. Hydrometer. Tool. Hydrochloric acid. At least then, if they do add something that uses it, you got it. So I just grab like one of everything. Like there's a voltmeter, just grab it. Skin it, Perish. That looked scary. It was not scary. Don't worry. Skitterbots are nothing to me. Drop this stuff off. That's very heavy. Tomato. At tomato. You're a tool. Uh, all right, man. Chat, looks like that's the end of the stream for tonight. <laughs> looks like I'm done. Some, uh, fucking asshole just came at me. Some fucking total weenie, uh, bitch. Some fucking dumbass, uh, asshole. Uh, tried to do a goof at me, and it fucking totally harshed my vibes. So, I'm, I'm done. Not because I'm upset, but because I, I don't want to be here. Because I know he's still watching. That bothers me. Nothing. Lots of fucking worthless... At a certain point, uh, you could leave most of this here. I'm honestly... A lot of chemical stuff in this game actually has no purpose yet. But, do make a point of grabbing acids and definitely make a point of grabbing uh, denatured alcohol. That is used to make uh, antiseptic. So that one is great. I'm going to pull the bike into the actual building. 
You want the denatured alcohol. I did not do this well enough. Hang on. Okay. Am I aligned? I'm not aligned. There we go. A little bit more. There we go. Yes. Shorten the trips. Ever so slightly. I don't really need the bandages on me right now. I'm not going so deep in that I can't just run back upstairs if I get in trouble. Honestly, I wouldn't have time to treat myself even if I did have them. All right. The blob globs, I'm happy to see these. We need to grab all these from mutagens. Any blobs we see are being added to my pile. All right. It's very formaldehyde. See, what's dangerous is that I keep my food in the same cabinet at my house as my chemicals. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's a thing. Keep my acids in the same bin as my chemicals, which makes this a little more dangerous to be handling hydrochloric acid in there. And glycerol. I'm actually going to drink this water because uh, we're not taking it with us. Man, hack. Got anything you're protecting? Glass bottle of uh, trash. That might be a. Ooh, I was thinking maybe that would be a uh, auto dock. There is a chance of us seeing an auto dock in here. Once we kill all these pathetic man hacks. More glycerol. Yeah, we're taking the glycerol. That's bombs, chat. That's that's bombs. Glycerol is bombs. Taking the glycerol. That's bombs. What? Odds of us finding actual uh, mutagens in here? Zero. We're not gonna find any mutagens in this place. We're just looking for the recipe for it. I've never. I don't think I've ever found anything shockingly interesting in this kind of lab. People that played this game a lot, they know what I mean. Put this place at the same point as top tier, like the actual building of the research, like, campus place. There's nothing here. There's nothing very good. It's just like, you know, chemicals, which aren't very interesting. It's mainly the zombies. It sucks that I can't see in here. There's nothing... I think something's coming around. They see me. Here they come. Good news is, if there's zombies and there's noise, I can assume there isn't a turret. So. About to be flanked. I should have enough to kill these guys. Yeah. This is pushing it, but those guys, those slimes are idiots, so I can get some stamina back before I finish them off. Alright. Catch your breath. Ignore. Come on. Give me what I'm looking for. Nothing. Oh my god. It's here. What I've been looking for. I'd be lying if I said this wasn't very good for morale in this game. It's actually so good. It's worth doing whenever you have the free time. Such as. Right now. There's always time to, well, you know, de-stress. We'll actually have to do it later. There are guys here. Which is why I'm gonna go upstairs and do it. Ah, you feel much better now. Chad, it's for my back. <laughs> Chad, that's a back massager, you fucking, seriously? Look at this thing. 
This looks like a fucking... Ah, uh, hang on. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, never mind. You guys didn't see that. Clean water, aluminum powder, more bleach, potassium iodide, I'm happy to see. Man, I'm not taking any more wacky chemicals, though. What the fuck is this place? Oxygen cylinder we will take. More wacky chemicals. Hope you guys like wacky, like hee hee ha ha super chemicals or whatever. More phenol. I honestly, most of these we'll never use in our entire fucking life. I'm being honest. We'll never use most of them. That's why I'm probably capping it off on chemical grabs for now. But I will take the salt. And the sugar. And the ethanol. Another trip upstairs. Man, those... I'm waiting for the noises in that room to stop or for me to be completely positive that it's just zombies in there. Because I'm not breaking that door down until I'm sure it's just zombies. I don't want a robot coming out and, like, getting me. So I'm going to clear out the rest of this place before I even start opening that door. Not interested in that. This is probably a turret room. Nope, just zombie room. With, uh... What looks to be experimental mutants? A deformed amalgamation of man and animal. Grotesque humanoid covered in fur and a torn jumpsuit. The sinister fangs, claws, and look of insanity in his pale yellow eyes are a testament to that he has lost all his humanity. And a black op zombie. As this soldier's zombie skin radiates a sort of shadowy smoke that obscures its outline making its camouflage even harder to see against the background. In the darkness, it would be nigh invisible. Yeah. We're happy with the knowledge that we currently are in, like, daylight. <clears throat> oh, God, I need water. Is this a nope scenario? <laughs> what do you fucking think? Where's my gun? Where's my gun? What do you think? Little shits. Fuck you. Bring your squad. Let's tango. Where's my ex? Is this a nope scenario? <laughs> what do you think I am? Say it again! Is this a nope scenario? They ripped my molly pack! Another thing I literally don't use. Yeah, we probably shouldn't even be carrying the molly pack in. Should probably just kill everything and then loot this place with a bunch of backpacks. We're probably just going to do that for the rest of this. We're only going to be looking for the books. Everything else I'm going to leave unlooted till I'm done killing everything in this area. Come here. It's more, it's, it makes more sense to do it like that. Like, chat, look at the heavy survivor armor. It literally has not been hurt since I started wearing it on stream. Where's the black ops boy? Yeah, he looks like he likes being at... He looks like he likes melee. You know what that means. Time to not engage him in melee. Prepare yourself to be shot. Step into the hallway. Is this a nope scenario, someone asked. Is this a nope scenario? <laughs> Is it a nope scenario? I'll show you a nope scenario. Give me the book I require. A history of firefighting, not the book I require. I'm not even know. I don't even need to loot any of this yet. We're not looting yet. Stop looting. Whoa. Damn, those man hacks. Fuck that guy up. What about this way? Man, I gotta get in there and fucking kill all those zombies all the way. You've made a terrible mistake. Let us battle, if you feel so inclined. Come on, then! I'll take you all on! You think you... 
fucking little shits! Like flies! Hang on, I gotta get some stamina back. I'll be back for my gun in a second. Man, I spotted. Oh. Come on, you son of a bitch. Get over here. These things are scared of me. Like, they're actually scared of me. Because they see what I'm doing to their brothers. And these things have consciousness. Man, imagine not being able to hit them. I know people that make characters that genuinely... Actually, it's common. The problem with man hacks is sometimes your character's, like, in pain. And you genuinely cannot hit them because they're very fast, but like I'm uh, you know, like a god Until I get shot by a turret around this corner In the next couple of rooms, so like look at him. He's cowering All right, stop there's another man hack close the door Ooh. See, we're starting to get some... The scientists are the guys with loot in this place. Time dilation CBM. Sterile. At the cost of all stored bionic power, the user may increase their body speed and reactions dramatically. Essentially freezing time. Violent or rapid movements may cause damage due to friction. Yeah, chat, that's... That's... That's the... That's, that's the JoJo meme. All right, if I've ever seen one. Oh, we're not taking it with us just yet because there's no fucking point. Uh, we don't have any space and I'm not gonna carry everything everywhere anymore. It's just pointless. I gotta clear out a billion man hacks after all. <laughs> it's like an infestation of these fucking things. Come here. Stop it. Stop. Jesus. All right. That one just flew by me. We're just looking for the mutagen book, dude. I don't care about CBMs. I told us... I told everyone we're a mutant boy. Okay, so something killed all these guys. I think it was just a combination of a billion robots and a billion zombies, like, brawling. Or it's, uh... The Kevlar Hulk. <laughs> I need to get my gun for that one. Let me just swing upstairs for a second. We can take him. We got grenades. We got, we got, we, we can take that guy. I ain't scared of him. I'll make that clear. That's not an open scenario. That's a I kill scenario. I'm, I'm tough. I just don't want to be, I just want to make sure I'm in a long hallway when I shoot him. Where's my fucking gun? All right. Regen my stamina. Back downstairs. Where's Hulk Chen? He's down here. There he fucking is. Open fire. Chat, he's taking damage. That means he can be hurt and he isn't healing. Meaning, by that logic. Wait, where's he going? What? Hello? I think he just got distracted by a man hack and is currently in that room bullying that man hack. Yeah, he is. He saw a man hack in that room and now he like went to, he was like, hey, he got, he was more interested in fighting a man hack than he was fighting me. He's coming back around. He'll come back around. I'm not going, he's baiting me. No, he's not. He's a fucking idiot. Is what he is. I guess I'll just leave him in there for now. I need to pulp all these bodies, dude. I'll see him in that hallway, but I can't go- I can't see where he is in that room because of the darkness in there. So, like... I'm just gonna get rid of all the corpses. There he is. Okay. Uh, little bitch? Are you fucking kidding me? What is your problem?! Come out here! 
went back into the room. Hey! I didn't, I just didn't, chat, I didn't realize this guy was a fucking coward is all. There he fucking is. Come out here, bud. Where, come on. I, I don't want to go in there. That's his zone. If I go in there, he might throw me away from the door and then I will die. Because he threw me into a door. It's a grenade. Hey, man. I'd like to take this moment to remind all of you of my throwing skill. I have one. <laughs> Ideally, I do not want to throw a grenade for him. When I could shoot him. If I stand here, I'll see him at the door frame and then I can run. Surely. He'll come this way. Alright, that's it. <laughs> We're doing it. Pull the pin. Key. Throw. I got around the corner. I'm okay. <laughs> that got him fucking angry. I got slightly hit because of how good my armor is. It didn't even hurt the armor, chat. Man, my armor is good. Also, my throwing skill is still very bad. Also, that only convinced him to step outside to check what the sound was. <laughs> well, I'm currently deaf. Come on in and fight me! What is this? I'm going in there, that's it. Is he angry now? There, nope. Oh my god. Okay, he's taking swings at me. From range. Gang, I can't get him out of this fucking room. I guess I'll pull, pull the pin on the other grenade and just drop it on the ground. I mean, that's actually, like, the best option I have. Is to pull this pin and drop it on the ground where I can't throw it. Because, like, he's lightly injured and I'm, like, chipping at him for seven health a pop. Pull the pin. Drop it. Get around the corner. How'd that do for him? Lightly injured. I'm gonna ignore him because he's- Oh, he's chasing- Oh, now you wanna chase! Oh, now you go- You grow some fucking balls! Finally! Fucking finally! I'm a fucking parkour master, bud. Alright, he's gonna keep up with me. Now I can go back and actually figure out how I want to kill him now that he's actually started chasing me. Good. He's not- as long as he's in the hallway, I can go get my stamina back. And like, fucking begin. Alright. Jesus Christ. Here he is. As long as he's not in some stupid hallway, I can- He's down to 50% health, pretty much. He's moderately injured. Okay. Now what we gotta do is basically kite him over here. Remember, he couldn't damage me. He hit me, he still couldn't damage me. So we're gonna kite him over here. Into this room. He lost me. <sighs> he's so dumb. He's so, he's so stupid, he left! <laughs> he left. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's playing with the vending machine. I don't think there's anyone in here that's going to, like, pull on me. So I'm just going to keep shooting at him for now. Got to get around him. Get him back into a long hallway. 
He's whacking the... He's hitting the computer. Okay. Get down here. He's even coming after me anymore. He's like, what? Well, he's more interested in the glass. He's, he's look. He found out what his reflection looks like in the glass. I think I have time to actually reload right now. Yep. He's checking out that way. He likes the M. He's smelling. He found out what an MRE is, and he's like fucking licking it, trying to get the food out. He's dead. It's most of my ammo for him. My other two mags on the ground and my brisket. Wow. Well, let's hope we don't run to another one. Not because I'm scared of him, but because it's a mild inconvenience to me to have to do that again. Good God. What a stupid idiot. Get back to pulpit. Hey. You guys are exactly what I'm actually looking for. Now, I'm still hearing hostiles detected upstairs, and that means there's probably a sentry bot. Something beyond these man hacks. Around. Yeah, there he is. But! All I can operate on the assumption of is that he's out of ammo. Or else I would have been still hearing shots. But for now, let's do the smart thing. And, uh,. Stay away from him. Until we're sure of that. He doesn't have night vision. Meaning I can kill him with bullets if I get into that dark room. And I stand on the other side. Don't tell an UGV I have mortar shells. Yes. They do. Dude, I just want the fucking scientist thing. I just want my book... None of these are it. Physician's desk reference is not it. But I did see a CBM in there. Cable charger CBM. Well, I'd rather have this place full of robots that I can clear later than zombies. Living quarters. I don't think that zombie, I don't think that robot's, I just wish I could see in these rooms without having to turn on like a headlamp. That's rough for me. Makes it very difficult to scout. Oh, this is a great straightaway for this. He's dazed. Array of mortars and weapons. He can't see me. He's like confused. He doesn't know where he is. I'm gonna take my chances shooting him. Cause I'm out of his range. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, these guys are nothing in here. He's dead. He might actually have bullets for me. He had nothing. Yeah, he didn't have any. He was coming. These guys are out of ammo. At least that one was. Someone up north has bombs still. Northwest has bombs. Someone very northwest has bombs. We can tell by the chat log. This guy did not. Let's take his ammo, though. Fuck off, man hack. You guys don't do anything. You're worthless. And it's sad. As long as I'm in the darkness, I'm safe. To some extent. Uh. Ignore the man hack. Unload. 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 Reload. 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 Is that everything? Alright, two full mags. Yeah, look at all this. Look at these fucking sad ass man. Alright, I'm killing these guys. That's it. My axe is gonna break soon. Because I'm spending my axe durability killing these fucking things. I need a new melee weapon. These metal guys are really fucking my crap. Dude. We'll actually just take these mags. It's good that the security bots actually dropped my ammo. It's, I wish I had gotten some before they used it all, though. Okay. 
please? Nuclear physics made easy. That's actually pretty good to get. And Adderall. That's not what I'm looking for, though. I was attacked by the manhack. Alright, so this is where the robots are still fighting. Oh, they got Computer Science 301 over there. But I don't see any of the thing I'm looking for. Good news is, chat, this is a self-fulfilling prophecy. These zombies will keep getting up. The robots cannot pulp them. So, if I ignore this, eventually when the kabooms stop, they will start up again because the zombies will get back up. And, and robots will end up wasting all of their ammo on zombies, and then I can just walk right in. One of these days, a new hack is coming around the corner. That would... Dude, if I die to a fucking new hack, I'm gonna be angry. I'm gonna feel like I didn't deserve that. You know? That'd be pretty lame -o, to be honest. So many man hacks, dude. Ooh. Nitrogen, ammonia, a bunch more stuff. I'm mainly just concerned about pulping everything right now. These man hacks are fucking really annoying. Hang on. Hit that one. I'm just gonna wait for these guys to come to me to die. Come on! Stop running from me! One man, one left! Oh wait, nope, there's still more. All right, now they're gone. I'm dead. That's it. I'm dead. Turret. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gone. That's how it goes, baby. After all this... I died in the way everyone dies to a turret just off screen. It was my own bad I didn't peek. It was my own fault. But I am surprised it didn't run out of ammo by now. Alas. I'm gone. Could have been worse. Might have been a crow's. What are you going to do next week? Next week I'd probably... Do more away. I wouldn't do a new run immediately. I'd come back to Cataclysm in like another like month or two for Cataclysm. I'd probably do more wind next Sunday. Are you stunned? I'm I'm dead. <laughs> Chad, I'm not stunned. Note my torso. He hit me. Hang on, if I press space, I can accept my fate. Kermit lived for 29 days, chat. He lived for 29 days. I would say he did pretty good. I mean, honestly, chat, if I was going to stream this again, I would probably make a wizard character. And I would probably start a little bit into my character's, uh, like, building. Like, he's already made some progress in, like, a base. So we, we've skipped a little bit of the early, early game. And I'd do something like that. But I'm not going to do that for a little while. We'd probably do a cataclysm part, like, a second run in like a, like a month or two. I wouldn't put it on the burner. I wouldn't put it on like the back burner as long as I did last time. But I wouldn't mind seeing uh, some of the new content from the next updates come out. I mean, that, gang, I don't really know what to tell you. Sometimes that's just cataclysm. Sometimes cataclysms, your death in cataclysm is you get shot really fucking hard in the chest and you just die. That, that's just... That is the price. That was the perfect hubris of I turned a corner, did not press control X, well, shift X like I should have, and got shot for it. I should have pressed, I, I, that was all me. But yeah, no, even the strongest armor isn't going to save you from getting lit up like four times to the chest. That's just, that's just how it is. Sometimes, sometimes your death is exploding from a grenade at point blank. Sometimes it's, you just turn the corner and you catch. Wouldn't you just walk away? I mean, I actively, anyone that looked at, if you look at the footage, I actively did walk away. I spun around as hard as I could to try to get back into cover. But, I mean, it had, because of how it cues movements in this game, I essentially did two turns of walking into him before I realized what was happening. 
Like I did one move, he activated his attack, but it had already queued the second tile of me moving into the room. So I moved two tiles of attacks in before I realized what was happening. By then it was too late for me to get out. That's how I died. That's why I gotta be careful in corners. Sometimes a guy just eats shit. Now, if I was off stream, maybe I'd alt F4 and say, I'm not gonna let that happen, but this is on stream. I'm gonna stick to my word. If I actually show up and die, I'm dead. Unless it was like a fast travel, so. That's Kermit. Didn't die as embarrassingly as the last guy. Lasted 29 days. Uh, next time we play this, we'll do something uh, more ridiculous, probably, with magic and stuff like that. And I'll probably go deep into Arcana. I want to do Arcana pretty badly. So we'd probably go deep into Wizardry and, like, stuff like that. And I'd actually probably get to, you know, a base and everything. Like, a real, like, machine base. It's a good run. I mean, most of the time, Chad, either you live forever or you die to a turret. That's how this game... You guys saw the difficulty curve we were getting to. That Kevlar Hulk's supposed to be a fucking scary monster. And for me, it was... Ha ha, hee hee. I'm glad I got to show you guys mutations. I'm glad I was able to become a rat man and show you guys what mutations are. And goof around with that before I died. Because I didn't even get to that last time before I died. So... I'm happy I was able to do some silly stuff with that and get a character that I would call pretty strong. Uh, I'd love to have done CBMs, but CBMs are unfortunately very late game unless you find an auto dock early. And those are usually pretty hard to do. Uh, those are a lot more set up. Magic's a little bit easier if you find the books for it. How far would you say you got? Mid game. I'd say hard mid game. Uh, I was like, what? If I had, if I had another off stream session, if I stopped the stream today, I could have made a vehicle that could double as a, like, mobile base. So I was definitely mid game. End game would be like, I'm walking through these places, turrets are shooting at me, and I'm just ignoring them. Like, that's how strong you can eventually get, but I, I would need. That was, uh, that was an M249 Autonomous Crows, which if I check on this, if I check, M249... Autonomous crows in Cataclysm. Uh, pretty sure this thing hits. Pretty sure this shoots 308. Right? Does the, does the M249 shoot 308 or is it 776? 556? Yeah. Yeah, that's a death. That, uh, I honestly would have been dead probably if I hadn't even gone in another block after that. Essentially what you're supposed to do in a, in a situation like this is peek, see it, say, uh-oh, I don't want to do that. And then find a way that you can throw an EMP around the corner or like get into the blind spot like right there because it's right there on the screen. You get right there and you toss an EMP right there and usually that'll kill it. But you need EMPs. I just wasn't expecting there to be turrets in this lab because they usually aren't. I usually don't run into turrets in this place, so I, I lowered my guard. I was expecting security bots and stuff. Alas, that's how it is. Obliterated by a turret. Yeah, we can even see the fucking thing with this. 50 damage in one shot. Yeah, I mean, he missed most of the shots, too. That's the sad part. He missed a lot of his bullets. Hit two of them, and those two both hit for 50 a pop. So yeah, he... I only have 100 health. I would have needed... The only way I could have survived that chat is if I literally had full chest health going into that corner. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame. Number of zombies killed, 610. We killed a lot of stuff. Killed a good amount of fucking stuff. You are forgotten among the billions lost in the cataclysm. Well, I'll reset the world. And that's cataclysm, baby. Sometimes that's just, sometimes it be like that. New character? We're not going to do new character for a couple months, like a month or two. Because Morrowind's taking its spot, chat. 
Morrowind is almost ready. It should be done by next week. So Morrowind is coming back with a vengeance. And we're going to be doing Morrowind in its spot for uh, the next month. So I'm going to basically be doing Sundays as like a, like what's the big series people really want me to do. And we're going to just do Sundays as like the, as the series day for whatever big RPG I'm currently doing. So Morrowind's the next one. Will it be Grease Mage? I'm not sure, but it will be something. I'm going to switch to the Goblin while we do the outro. Sorry it ended up being shorter than usual. I mean, it's just that's just sometimes how it is with Cataclysm. Sometimes you die like a weenie, dude. Sometimes you die like a weenie. Uh, I won't be streaming tomorrow, for the record. I'm taking tomorrow off. Because uh, I got to go to the doctor. So we will be back on a, a smooth Tuesday, most likely. Unless I end up getting, unless I end up feeling totally fine, I want to stream tomorrow. In which case, I'll stream tomorrow, maybe, but probably not. Will System Shock Two come back anytime soon? Honestly, if Morrowind isn't ready by Sunday, I'll probably finish System Shock Two on Sunday and do Morrowind next Sunday. I've never felt more alone. All right, man. Hey, his mushroom group back. Well, let's get to the notifications and get this get this wrapped up. I forgot how close to the surface we were. God, I just can't believe I died. Like I would have rather died to the Kevlar Hulk. Honestly, that's like always my greatest regret in Cataclysm is dying to something so preventable. I'd rather die to like a fucking fungus infection than a goddamn like a turret. Ah! But don't worry, we'll come back to Cataclysm in a month or two. And we'll do a new character. Don't worry about a goddamn thing. No, but the turtle, thanks for the six months. Where am I? Get me down from here. Thank you for the six months, no, but the turtle. Almost pit time, Dan right? Grundle, 522, thanks for the four months. Prime, Space Case Loser, thanks for the 10 months. Queen Crazy Matt, thanks for gifting us up. I, Renee, thank you for the 11 months. 69, nice. Thanks for the three months. The rot begins to take hold, yes. Medieval JP, thank you for the 10. God Vivek, thank you for the prime. Gray Squirrel, thank you for the nine months. The Fast Snake, thank you for the 100 bits. Will you ever upload to the Tomato Gaming YouTube channel? Uh, not now. Um, I have nothing I'm making for videos and honestly, YouTube is a cesspool. So not now. I'm not working on anything currently. Sorry. YouTube sucks, man. For me, at least. For people of my size, it sucks. This is how it is right now. And... Fucking hell, the last video I put up... Well, other than the sponsored one. The last video I put up took fucking... Two... Like a month and a half to get pushed through... To have ads run on it. And then it made $80. I cannot survive like that. I need money to live... Especially now. It's ridiculous. Should I watch VODs here on YouTube then? You can watch the VODs on YouTube. That VOD channel's whatever. That's not really my... That's not a big deal for, for like, maintenance. Brett runs that for me. Ah, this place is lovely. They're going to get banned. Man, if YouTube gets pissy at me because I said that my last video I made for on that platform made fucking $80, then by all fucking means, man. <laughs> Ad revenue on YouTube sucks, and unfortunately, whether people like it or not, uh, I'm an adult. I need to pay my taxes. <laughs> oh, I got renamed the title of the stream. I mean, the, uh, the game I'm playing. The Longing. I gotta pay taxes and make money so I can eat food. Oh, this mushroom doesn't glow. It's a shame. But yeah, I mean, it's not like I hate making videos. I love making videos, but like, I have to say to myself, I also love streaming a lot. And I have a lot of fun doing it. And unfortunately right now, streaming allows me to continue to live my life? Whereas YouTube does not. 
at all. This is another disappointment for me. That's another big disappointment, that dead end over there. Tooth Remover, thanks for the 13 months. Prime Oceany Blaze, thanks for the 13 months as well. Based Ozer, thanks for the nine months prime. I'm now a full-fledged rotting baby cherub tomato. Nice. Blight Pup, thanks for the 10 months. The games you play on stream are always so unique. It's so fun seeing what new game you're gonna play. You've introduced me to so many of your new favorite of my new favorite games I wouldn't have heard of otherwise, like Kata. Hey man, I'm, I, I, it always makes me happy to see people playing Kata after I play it, honestly. That's one of my favorite things. I love exposing people to that game. God, I just wish I didn't die like such a weenie. Next time I'll die from exploding. It'll be epic. Next time. It's gonna, I'm gonna miss perfect night vision though, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna miss that. Lord of the slums, thank you for the sub. Blight Pup, thanks for gifting a sub as well. 789, thank you for the four months. Oh, you gifted a sub to someone for their fourth month. Thank you. Internet Fuhrer Hydra, thanks for the two months. I feel my moisture leave. Is this like the mushroom grove? I should like just label this as a place. I feel like all these are just like mini, like wings to go to new mushroom sections. Krush Senpai, thank you for the two months, three months prime. So Dragon Chris, thanks for the 13 months prime. Great that CDDA is back. Might actually play this myself now that it's now that it's possibly starting for real. You mean like the you mean like the new release? The, the new stable version? Trust me, chat, playing on stable is meaningless. I think they only do it for the mobile uh, market because stable on the... Uh... There's no reason to not play Experimental Cataclysm, genuinely. There's really no reason. It's stable enough. I've never had a save get broken on Cataclysm, genuinely. Ever. You're just missing out on a ridiculous amount of content and like convenience and like upgrades to the game. So always play on, always play on experimental. If you, once you know how, it's like, it's like even if your saves might explode, you can bat, you can, your saves are usually backed up. You should just back up your game. It does it automatically in the launcher. You know? You know? Time to get sweaty. Thanks for the three months. Sushi Shush. Thank you for the seven months prime. Violet Legacy. Thanks for the five dollars. I love you, Tamto. Every time I see you upload or stream something, it makes my day better. I can't tell how, can't tell you how much you've helped me fight depression and lighten my life by doing your videos. Game goofs. Thank you. Glad it could be a service. Thanks for the money. King of all bananas. Thanks for the sub. Dagnardio, three months. Oh lord, already three months of throwing my money away at the little red man. No point in stopping anytime soon. Great work, sir. Thank you, thank you. Is this a spider? This is the spider. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Go back. Go back! Stupid shade. Go back! What are you doing? Go back! Yes. Mato Chan, thank you for the 12 months. Hey, Tomato, I would first like to apologize for making you say. I'm not saying that. Nope, caught you. Nope, not gonna happen. DVD666, thanks for the 7 months prime. Take my free sub and keep up the great work, thanks. Elation Trap, thank you for the prime. Dictator Penguin, thanks for the six months prime. The Skullgar, thank you for the five months prime. Pineapple Tornado, thank you for the subscription. Shio Jask, thanks for the 12 months prime. Parker177, thanks for the 100 bits. Hey, Tomato, thanks for getting me in the Cataclysm. My first playthrough, I accidentally lit a door on fire and trapped myself in a room in the first five minutes. Nice. The deranged optician, thanks for gifting us up. Duke Duke Lemons, 10 months. Jaeger TFL, thanks for the four months. Vizalre, thank you for the seven months prime. Jatamo, 10 months, thank you. Jack minus Dexter, thanks for the six. Half a year, half a year and I've already subbed to this overly violent fruit. Half a year I've been subbed to this overly violent fruit 
And you know what? I enjoyed it all. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Century One, thanks for the 500 bits. And playing RimWorld. Are the trade quests where you get people in exchange for various goods worth it? I don't know. I haven't played that much RimWorld since the new expansion came out. I did a little bit of it, but not much. I think the only path I haven't taken is down here. This one. Yeah, I haven't checked this path. Because that up there is mushrooms. They're all mushrooms. All these paths just lead to more mushrooms. Everywhere. Jazima, thanks for the 10 months. Tolkas, thanks for the 5 months. Playing some Dwarf Fortress right now. The Mushroom King! Yes! They're home. Some of those might mushrooms seem to have grown quite immense. Plant this one. The perfect soil for mushrooms of all kinds. This should be a doorway. This better not be a disappointment. I'm gonna cry. I had to use the fucking Matic! Well, Chad, I don't have a Matic anymore. Mine destroyed itself, so I guess I gotta go home now. I'm gonna go home. I'm going back home. I'm gonna label this, though. I might find a new Matic one day. One day. Fucking window. That fucking window. That goddamn window destroyed everything. It broke my game. Kana Scum, thank you for the dollar. I'm sorry for calling you a tool, Tamto. D colon. Yeah, you better be. Mason Cakes, thanks for the 12 months prime. A whole year of the fruitiest, juiciest goodness. Stay safe, Tamat. Thanks, man. Rich G Jr. 1809. Thank you for the prime. Blue Falcon. Thanks for the eight months. Ray 34. Thanks for the 14 months. Cake was a lie. Thank you for the uh, nine months prime. My great journey was for naught. My fellow tomatoes all shriveled up and died. The promised land was a lie. Now there is only one thing that keeps me going: paying off my debt to Tom Nook and having an Egyptian-themed room. Dude, Tom Nook's a fucking asshole. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now. That guy's a fucking absolute scumbag. Sir Table Hands, thanks for the tier 2 subscription for 10 months. Thank you. Here's some money, Tomato. Don't go spending it all in one place, all right? Comrade Gracken, thanks for the 100 bits. Those crow turrets have five belts of 500 rounds each. Oh, I know. One time I opened up a lab on the surface level. There were two in there. You know, I did my, I did my part hucking an EMP into that and got 10,000 bullets or some shit. So, you know... Those turrets can be a nice resource if you don't fuck up the execution or walk into their firing line. Like an idiot, like me. Starbolt, thank you for the five months. Bundun, thank you for the prime. And Frago, thanks for the seven months. Comrade Kraken, thanks for the 500 bits. Bone Wife has claimed her vengeance from the grave. Hey man, I'm just glad we, we did a lot of stuff this stream. That stream, we did a lot of stuff. There were a lot of steps in that stream. We went places, we killed Bone Wife. Did Tomato actually ever say where his Cataclysm++ plus plus button, uh, no BS mod is? It's in the mod folder. Unless he deleted it. Uh, it's not online, it's something I made. But it's not hard to make blacklist uh, plugins, so you can just look it up, honestly. It's not very hard to make. And you can, if you make your own, you can customize it. It's on my Discord if you want the folder that has it in it. If you want that one. Uh, hard as is. Thank you for the 100 bits. Sloppy Waffle Cat. Thank you for the 10 months. Vildi. Thank you for the Prime. The Dark Sign. Thank you for the Prime. Quantum Fish Prime as well. Thank you. Queen Bird Nerd. Three months. Hope you're safe. Quarantine means more time to watch Tampto stream. Yes. Yes. Continue to consume the content. Yes. Peace Centennial. Thanks for the six months. Prime. Hey, Tomato. Thanks for all the content. I've been trying CDDA, but I keep exploding from getting shot all the way across the screen. Ah, uh, yes. 
If you have Cataclysm++, plus plus, I think you're getting hit by lasers because the fucking zombies in that mod are fucking insane. You're probably getting hit by the zombies. The zombie super soldiers. Which I only advise you playing with if you are extremely confident at the game and also extremely accepting of getting killed by bullshit. Because unfortunately, that mod is very tuned for endgame, like, knowledge characters. Like, I could handle those zombies. I just wouldn't do it on stream. Because that would be a very... That would be even more embarrassing than getting killed by that turret on the stream. Getting hit by a fucking laser sniper from... What is Cata++ Plus Plus except for range zombie BS? Lots of NPCs. Um, the... Uh, bio mutant that super bio mutant we saw in the town was from that um, it also adds the zombie bio mutants it's a lot of stuff like that a lot of it's really cool too zombie cata plus plus adds a lot of areas to the game like the research center I'm pretty sure is a cata plus plus thing might not be honestly I don't play without cata plus plus so I wouldn't be able to tell if it did or didn't include that but uh cata plus plus yeah has a lot of zones Definitely has a genetic lab, which is nice. I like having that. It's a lot. It's it's like an expansion. It's worth having, honestly. It's a good mod. It's just that the zombie snipers and stuff are a little bit overtuned. They hit for like 90 a pop, dude. I've had the zombie... I've had the laser sniper, the sniper zombies from Cata++. I've shot someone with that sniper for 200 damage. I could have one shot that Kevlar Hulk with that sniper. So how long is this game? 400 days, dude. Technically 400 days if you start it up and then never play it again until the 400th day. So it's 400 days long, technically. It can be shorter, as we've seen. It hasn't actually been 34 days. It's been like 14 or 15. But it can take 400 days, technically. Are you just walking around? No, I'm going all the way back home. Because I don't have a Matic, which means I cannot exit. Because my Matic broke because of my greed. So I'm fucked. Unfortunately. Devil Jojo, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you. Grustic 100 bits. Thanks for introducing me to CDDA. On my way back to my first electric armored car deathmobile, I just got to find that Mechanics 5 book. Nice, dude. Getting close to that deathmobile. I wish I could have showed you. We honestly had all the fucking pieces to make a nice deathmobile with rollers. Because we had, a, we had like a, a road roller that we found. But alas, the turret. Cargoth the Bloody. Thank you for the five months prime. Chat, we'll have to return to this guy someday when he ever gets home. But uh, we're done for tonight. I'm outie. I am going to raid Brett today. He's playing Bloodborne. So I'm going to raid Brett. Go hang out with Brett. I will be back tomorrow or the next day. It just depends on how much rest I get because I got a doctor's appointment in the morning. And that sort of fucks with my sleep schedule a little bit. So, assume Tuesday. I'm gonna bet on Tuesday. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna assume Tuesday for next stream. Uh, I'm not sure what we'll do, but Morrowind uh, next Sunday or the Sunday after. That's the next plan. That's the next game on the list. And I'll see you guys then. Bye bye